Yes, yes, Pikachu, we know you run and love life and things, dear Pikachu, but enough. We have adventures to have, because hello everybody, I'm me on Ice Wings. I did a bit of grinding off screen, primarily just to get the experience share. What am I doing? I can teleport. Me dumb. I keep forgetting the goblin boy. The goblin. Gobby. I'm just coming here so we can show you. Luckily, I managed to avoid all, like, trainer battles and the like. As I went to search, I think we'll have to... Ah, we can go to the release. We got Tentacle, Shelda, Duduo, Spiro, uh, all to the left, because it's just like, hmm, there's nothing to the right. And I went back to Lavender Town to grab, like, a Zubat and a Machop. Uh, but there, <laughs> then I spent a ridiculous amount of time getting a pincer. What, what is it? Oh, it's because of that one. Yeah, like a pincer and a few other Pokemon. Let's go to the other box. I can't believe I only got a pincer in that box. But I think I got like a Taurus. I couldn't get a Chansey. There are Chanseys in there. But yeah, a Scyther, Tangela, Tauros, Rhyhorn, Dratini. Finally got one of them. <laughs> I gotta need Reno, but I think he's just taking up space. But yeah, I got a decent amount of... I, go, I didn't also... I, I could not get a Kangaskhan either. But now... Oh, and I guess we can come in here and uh, do the annoying thing of giving strength to one of my Pokemon. But let's talk to this dude. I went to the wrong door. I'm the fishing guru's older brother. I simply love fishing. Do you like fish? Sure, I'll give me that. Grant, I like your style. Take this fish, young one. It's the good rod. Which is better, the super rod or the good rod? And then, okay. Odd man. It's just like, oh, let's rifle through his trash. We can't. We can't rifle through his trash. <laughs> they are oppressing the trash bandits. But yep, now we gotta teach strength to one of my Pokemon, and that's not really something that I'm excited to do. And we should also, like, put some of these things away. Like, I assume that the Super Rod is better than the Good Rod. Like, it has to be. It contains strength. We have to teach it to somebody. It's either Charmeleon or War Turtle. Let's go and take a look at their moves before we do anything. But he's already going to get Surf. Because he's our only water type. But then that leaves my dude, but he... Which I guess I could get rid of... Growl? Maybe? Yeah, it looks like it's gonna... We're doing the inefficient thing. We don't have an HM slave. Yep, it's only one of these dudes. Because no, Venusaur can't learn anything. Alright, Charmeleon, we are getting rid of... I don't even know... I guess I'll get rid of Leer, actually, because Growl is pretty decent, and a lot of things use normal moves, so bye-bye, Leer. Nah. HMs are kind of annoying, if you think about it. Like, you have to wonder if there was, like, a, no more room for items. Of course not. Nah. Now we have to go. And I teleport, actually. Do the teleportation. So we can shove a bunch of teams into the dealie, along with the good rod. Why is the good rod here? All right, deposit items. Uh, TM's away. TM's away. We don't need all this many TM's. 
most of them are moves we'll never even use. No, not the super rod, goddamn you. It just goes against my mind. I think that there's an extra button press. But no, it's just like, what do you want to deposit pops up, and then pops up the menu. And now that we used strength on the dude that we're never gonna get rid of, we can throw HM4 in there as well. And I'll withdraw the super rod. Because, I don't know, maybe I'll use it. And now we're gonna go back and get that item. Blah. And let me guess, the rock's gonna have reset, yep. Personally, if I were in charge of making Pokémon, I would just have, like, uh... Have it be so that if you have a Pokémon that fits the HM, you can just use the HM. Like, you don't even need to teach them. It would be like more a utility thing that you use outside of combat. And, oh yeah, we're gonna go get the the thing that I grinded for. We're gonna get the experience share. And then we're also going to go and beat up the last remaining people to the right, and then fight Koga. Because I think that should make everything uh, up to snuff. I swear if you say I don't, I'm gonna be angry. Gib. Gib me. You caught 50 kinds of Pokemon. Congratulations! Here you go! Yay! Gives experience points to all the Pokemon with you, even if they don't fight. It does, however, reduce the amount of XP for each Pokemon. If you don't need it, you should store it via the PC. That's nice of them to actually say that. They actually point that out. But now we're gonna go fight all the people. And now I'll kind of make it... Actually, yeah, kind of make it worth it to fight everything even more so. Do we... Have we fought you? Well, we have not fought you. Gib. Oh, you're a little cutie. <gasps> stranger danger. Stranger danger. Bad touch. Bad touch. Go away. Though the real crime is that hair. And who goes up first? I forget. Yep. Ah, we hadn't healed in a while. I forgot. Bubble beam. Kill. Ha, huh, silly you. You can't do that. Silly you. How dare you do that? Eat the chicken. Eat the chicken. Oh, now that's actually kind of obnoxious. But oh well. I'll suffer. That is kind of obnoxious to just have it go through. It should just say, remaining experience divvied up amongst your Pokemon. Just say that. You don't have to be that crazy, dude. You don't have to go all the way. Yeah, I still don't know what what the deal is. Because <laughs> uh, for those that don't know, what I do for like my stream setup is I have a little Chromebook that I've just always have had. And the reason is, like, um, I have it open and tuned into my stream so that I can do better, like, audio monitoring, see if there's anything. Like, it basically, it acts as, like, a second chat window and allows me to kind of look in and see, hey, is there anything weird going on? Anything odd? Anything strange? And plus, it makes it super easy and convenient to actually check my audio because if uh, somebody says hey your audio's messed up and I can check it at the beginning of a stream I can just plug in my headphones because my headphones are wireless so it just makes it super easy to plug them in or unplug them quickly check my audio and that means it also doesn't uh, play on stream it's a nice isolated place to check my audio you looked cute, so cute too. Well, is it because I beat you? I can't be cute if I win? Is that what you're saying? You want a trophy husband? Who isn't even a winner? Bitch. You look so gentle, so I think I can beat you. Profiling too! Oh yeah, but on to the thing, the Chromebook. For whatever reason, a few times, like Twitch alone will just stop working. And I don't know why. <laughs> I 
I don't understand you. What is your demons? And just like other websites will work on the Chromebook. But not Twitch. Just randomly. And I don't know why. Maybe I'll have to reset it, but Chromebooks are annoying. Just annoying to work with. Sometimes. Wing attack for that step damage. I, always, I find it funny that for the longest time I was just like, yeah, stab. Stab exists. But I, I never really understood what stab meant. I was just like, I wonder what that means. And I never really learned until last time where BLT General came in. I was just like, yeah, it's because of Pokemon of the same type using an attack of the same type. Diddly dee. I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> no! Wrong! It isn't wrong! I am the winner! I don't think we fought you. Oh, we did? I beat you. Winning, losing, it doesn't matter in the long run. But it does, you f We haven't fought you? I have guess we haven't gone up there. Come on, come on! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Go where? To your funeral? Or your Pokemon? I eh, more like your Pokemon's funeral. <laughs> Well, he has four Pokemon. You better dig four graves, my dude. I probably should have, uh, diddly dee away from he. But oh well. Quick, keep stabbing it. Stab away. No, not the smog. It smells like city, and of course you poison me, because you're a jerk. And this is why I have Goblin with Teleport. And now Quick Attack to finish him off. Goblin with Teleport works really well. Yeah, it is a little tedious, but... What you gonna do? We shall swap out. Give War Turtle some try. Wash away the smog with bubbles! The power of bubbles. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Bitch. I guess this could be a symptom of their, like, programming structure, maybe? Where they just had it set up to show if an, a Pokemon gets experience in battle, actually show it. That's why, like, if you exchange Pokemon, that's probably what it works on. If you exchange Pokemon mid-fight, it'll, uh, diddly do that. So it's just, like, going off of pre-programming stuff. And it probably would have been more pain to change it or something. I don't know. A lot of things can fall through the cracks when you're programming a game. Like, apparently some attacks typing. No, no. Gust. Gust is not a... an aerial move, a flying move. Arg, lost! Get lost! You challenged me and poisoned my bird! It's not my fault that you're a jerk. Dude. Quit poisoning my baby boy! My poor baby boy! We hope to see you soon. You know, that is kind of a mean thing to say. We hope your Pokemon get hurt again and you come see us again. 
Yeah, we gotta beat up the people on the remaining path, and then we get to beat up Koga! We get to beat up a ninja! I forget what his uh, gimmick is beyond ninja. I think it has, like, invisible walls, maybe, and it's a maze. And we don't even have running shoes! Well, we could go up there, but first we'll go this way, because there is at least one trainer we can fight this way. Fight me. What's cool? Trading Pokemon! I've, I don't think I've ever actually traded Pokemon before. I mean, I kind of uh, traded up Pokemon to... Uh, a next generation, but I've never actually traded Pokemon for other people. <laughs> Correct, Invisible Maze. Hello, BLT General. <laughs> I got the experience share by grinding the Safari Zone and avoiding Pokemon trainer fights by and going to the left. Oh, crap, it has, it has, it has the, the abominable metronome. I got a few Pokemon, but none that I really want to use. Oh, try attack. Okay. <laughs> try attack is one of those moves that I keep forgetting exists. How dare you survive? I always think of Porygon when I think try attack. I would have uh, gotten a Porygon, but it takes forever to get because you have to play the the slots at the game corner and then you meh. It's a little bit of a pain to get. I said trade. You fought me. I you you see me. You you didn't you send out your Pokemon first. You dare say that I am the monster. You do. It's me. I also uh, had Charmeleon learn uh, strength because HMs mm -hmm. Pokemon fight cool. Rumble. You're gonna poison my bird, aren't you? Cause you're a jerk. With a shitty mohawk. Sand attack. And now that you can't see, I stab you with my wings. And hopefully, if I believe in the stab hard enough, it will pierce your balloon heart, and you will fly, fly away. You're gonna poison my bird again! It always happens! Oh, hey, it didn't. Yay. I've been spared. Ever so slightly. I wonder how much time the XP share is going to add overall. <laughs> To my playthrough. But I think it'll be worth it, hopefully. Wash away the grime with bubbles! You are now a soap mascot, War Turtle. And now I'm thinking of like all of like the Pokemon branding that would be in a Pokemon world. Like the water types that would be a, a cleaner mascot. And you have to wonder like. Marketing in the Pokemon world. I, I want to live in that world. <laughs> it seems fun. Blown away! But fight me. Fight me! Perfect! I need to burn some time. Just don't burn me. I probably should have moved Striker out of first place. Bede. Bede. We'll just pour some sand in your eyes. It'll mix in because you're just slime, monster. Blastoise's power wash services. But then he'll blow the roof of your car off. I've seen that anime clip. Out of context, it's hilarious. Why does it feel like quick attack is... Of course, as I just as I say, ah, quick attack, it does more damage than my stab. Oh, 
annoyances at this grime man. Grime man. Disabler of my skill man. And we will change, but I don't know who. If we just wanted to clown on this guy, we could send out Goblin, but that would be mean. Gaw, Chameleon! S wish we could set him alight, uh, but let us use a Growl, because he uses Pound, or he will poison you, because he's a jerk. Let me guess, you disabled? Of course you did. Well, that works for me. Bye bye, Grime Man. Experience for all. Our experience. We will not change Pokemon. Yeah, I figured it would. Kind of funny that the Pokemon that did the Disable is gone, and yet the Disable's still there. You'd think that would be... You have to wonder how that would work, like, in-universe. How would it disable a specific attack? You'd think that that would be more like a psychic move. What labeling would Disable be? One must ponder. What? You? I'm the one who burns. Burns you to the ground. Because I am the Winrar. Yep, just an another place. Out of the way. Would you like even more grass to fight Vinonets and Abominable Bell Sprouts at? Eh, let's just run. Yep, uh, with all that out of the way, we can go and fight Koga! And hopefully we will be a decent level, because... I mean, we made it all the way to... What's her name? I, Sabrina? I think it's Sabrina? The Psychic-type gym leader. And then she was like 20 levels higher than all of her subordinate Psychics. A little, a little strange, the level discrepancy, but at the same time, I mean, they are the leader of a gym. What do you expect? What are you expecting, boo-boo? There's Bill's house, or at least Bill's family house. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah. Uh, the Safari Zone, uh, just to, like, talk about that, well, after we... Like, talk to this guy and begin bumping into walls in the maze. Yo, champion the Megan! Fachusia Jim is riddled with invisible walls. Koga might appear close, but he's blocked off! You have to find gaps in the walls to reach him. But yeah, uh... When I was, uh... Doing that, strength isn't the key for Pokemon, it's strategy! I'll show you how strategy can beat brute strength! But... Uh, the Safari Zone is quite odd, strange. Oh boy, another juggler. They... with one Pokemon. Okay. Sure, dude. But... When I played, uh, through the Safari Zone, it was quite... odd. Kind of annoying. Because, like, I spent quite a lot of time just going through there, trying to get a few Pokemon to even out my diddly D to grab, uh, the XP all. So it's just like... I don't think it was that well thought out of a place, the Safari Zone. Wow, look at your strategy. Your strategy sure worked, Juggle Man. Tallying up my experience is gonna take longer... ...than this. What? Extraordinary! He didn't use any strategy whatsoever, and I have to go back to the the the, 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 the because they poisoned my Pokemon. That's the real secret of Koga's gym. That he just hopes you go away after your Pokemon get poisoned a million times, and he probably has a sponsorship with the Antidote Company. 
<laughs> Do you hate taking Koga's gym challenge? Try Antidote! Chansey's Antidote. Only $4.99 at your local Pokemart. Dumbass. I, can, I think I think I can see the invisible walls. I think I can see the invisible walls? Hope you're ready for all the poison. I think I can see the invisible walls. I don't know why. <laughs> is it because this is emulated and the graphics render weird or has that always been there? I am amused. It'll be hilarious if I'm right and that is the invisible walls. But we'll just have to see after we beat this man. Oh, he withdrew? I'm just gonna slash you. Of course, you're gonna use confusion on my poor confused Chimedian. He's a good boy. Leave him alone. That's what you get. Trying to confuse my beloved boy. Oh, he's gonna sit out drowsy again. You can see him, the four dots on the base cart too. It's a bit harder on the GB, but you can see them. Yeah, that's why I figured, but it's just like, you'd think, it, I wonder why. I wonder why they made them distinctly different visually. Like, you'd think they would have made them just the same tile visually, and then just made them interact differently. Maybe it was a programming engine thing? You had me fooled. I think he insulted me. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows, maybe it was like an engine thing. But that's kind of funny that... You, uh, I, I'm just a protagonist. I wanted to become a ninja, so I joined this gym. But yeah, I'm just a protagonist. I have aura reading. I'm like Ash. I can see what's not really there. I'm special. I have special eyes. I probably should have healed up Charmeleon. But oh well, I have Slash. Luckily, this isn't fanfiction.net. Critical hits in this game are ridiculous. I have no idea what the level stuff for or for moves with the other Pokemon when it comes to their uh, like levels, and then if they can get moves earlier. So, but I'm at least gonna get Flamethrower from my beloved boy and replace Ember. I hope maybe double team. Maybe it was just a way to not frustrate the target demographic. Maybe. Or it could just, maybe it was kind of a mix where uh, they wanted to be a challenge and they knew that kids would be kind of fickle. So they just uh, figured, hey, why don't we throw in something that on a Game Boy screen is really small. And so if people are uh, eagle-eyed, they can look, they can see, they can feel special because they can look see that there are little dots and they can figure it out better. And yeah, because this is a kid's game, but at the same time, Jesus Christ, some of the things in this game. <laughs> the one place they drew the line was invisible walls? Uh, the, the target demographic needs to be able to see the invisible walls. But they also... <laughs> I don't even know. They took in consideration invisible walls but not Gust as flying type. But I have quick attack. <laughs> Fool. And War Turtle gets Skull Bash at 39 and Hydro Pump at 47. Now well, we're pretty close to Skull Bash, so I guess that could replace a Bite. Maybe. And Hydro Pump at 47. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. I already forgot what he's putting out there, but meh. Go Birdman! Ha! 
<laughs> Send it here. But yeah, they put all this intricacy into this game. It's just like super interesting, super cool. Or SB at 42 and Hydro at 52 for Blastoise. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that they're kind of like, no, no, you should level up your uh, Pokemon and then let them evolve. That's kind of interesting. I wonder who came up with that idea to be like, kids should learn to appreciate the Pokemon they have. So let's make it so that they kind of want to keep their Pokemon unevolved for a little bit. But I can't wait for future Pokemon games that have more information <laughs> and actually tell you, Hey, which your status effect and move is this? Tail Whip, Growl, Leer, Glare. They're all the same. You should have named your Pidgey Dale Gribble for King of the Hill with all the pocket sand they're throwing. The funny thing is, King of the Hill is one of those things that I kind of knew about, but uh, haven't ever really sat down and watched. So I wouldn't have been able to name him that even if I had thought about it. It's just like, oh yeah, Santa Tech, Pocket Sand, because you know, the meme. I'm done for! Sorry, Charmeleon. Nope, you're not evolving. You're getting that flamethrower early, boy. No, stay. <laughs> stay, boy. You know what would be cool? If you could nickname moves in this game. That would be awesome. If you could, like, sit down and nickname moves. It's like, Sand Attack? Nah. Pocket Sand. Pocket Sand is how you go. No, 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 I'm, I already healed me, maybe. I still want to know, in-universe, what is that machine and what is it doing for the Pokémon? What is making them, like, better to, like, get, get unfrozen, to wake up, to stop being paralyzed, and so much more? I also study the way of the ninja with Master Koga! Ninja have a long history of using animals! That's right, the X all divides the X in half and then again to distribute. Yuck. <laughs> That's the one uh, kind of annoying thing is that it has to do it all in one go, but I'll suffer it. I'll suffer it. Mainly because there's going to become stretches of time where my Pokemon aren't going to be able to actually attack because <laughs> it's just be like it'll be like Silphco again where my poor Ivasaur can't fight because everything is super effective against the poor boy I do find it kind of funny that Instead of calculating which Pokemon is in first and not giving them a part of the other half, they're just like, screw it. Half for everyone. Oh, yes, indeed. He's fully paralyzed. Oh. Ah, but he healed for 69. That made it all worth it. He healed for 69. At least in the later games, the non-combatants each get a half, so it's not a huge grind. Yep, true that. And now water gun. Why? Because we're gonna dab on this shrew. Oh, you fully paralyzed. Uh... Cry on him. And who is sending out next? After we get through our experience. <laughs> He's sending out Arbok. Hmm. 
who should we send out? We shall send out Striker. Why? Because, I don't know, pocket sand. Do not bite at the turkey! And now quick attack, because it seems to be my most powerful attack even when I have a flying move. We'll have to see. Wing attack, are you better? Please don't poison the boy. Yay. Eh, it seems kind of equal. Will you paralyze the turkey? How dare you? I guess that's kind of a... Oh, yeah, because it's like the ah, snakes and... Yeah, stare at you, you have fear. I wonder how this is handled in the generations where the EXP all comes back. Oh! Wow, we found a furry. I should know. I am one. But... Yeah, like, if they do... I, more than likely, what the later generations do is they just have the thing go... You got... All your team... Gets experience. Our invisible walls, have you frustrated? Nah, because I can see them. I have special- I just have the best eyes. Insert that Kadikaris clip from, uh, the painful world of completing diddly dee dee ba dee ba bee doo ba bee ba bee ba bee dee ba bee ba dee ba dee ba dee ba dee ba dee ba dee ba Cash Banooka! I- really, I need to start collecting clips of Kadikaris. Leave my boy alone! How dare you? Leave my boy alone! He doesn't deserve your slashiness! Of course you would. <laughs> you know, in real life, if there was an invisible wall place... Like, somebody would die in there. Koga's just like, oh, they're just going, blah, blah, blah. they're just playing it up. It's just like, no, they're really dying. We have to get to them. We can't make it through the maze. No. Ah! And then that poor child died. Keep on slashing. How could you miss? It's a giant snake! Snake. How are you doing in the invisible maze? Uh, not good, Colonel. This small child is beating the shit out of me. Whoa, he's got it! I can see through your trickery, because I am Kadikarus with the best eyes. Except you just like replace my eyes with like ice cubes because pun. <laughs> Nurse Joy, heal my Pokemon before they die. In this world of super miracle machines, how does any Pokemon die besides of old age? It makes no sense. And at that point, wouldn't you think that, like, somebody would go and make a portable version of that thing? Like, yeah, in the world of Pokemon, that should be, like... Thing number one that you want to do. You have those super miracle machines for everyone. Master Koga comes from a long line of ninjas. What did you descend from? Well, considering implications, probably Pokemon. Put this drowsy to slop by slashing its throat.
Well, it's just gonna happen again, my boy. Wait. That means that this guy is choosing on each of his rounds to withdraw his Pokemon. He sends out one Pokemon, and right instead of using a move, he's like, no, come back. And then he sends out the next Pokemon. And then right on the, the same thing, he's like, no, come back. What is, what is wrong with you? I get it, you're a juggler, but that doesn't mean you juggle your Pokemon in and out of battle. Now I'm imagining a guy that would, like, juggle Voltorbs into battle in, like, medieval slaughter-your-enemy warfare. Which also kind of goes to show that uh, medieval Pokemon Wars, where you're riding Rapidashes, wielding that sword Pokemon, uh, you would throw Voltorbs as grenades and put electrodes in catapults and fire them. <laughs> My balls! You fool. And now we will save. Who should we put in front? Well, if worse comes to worse, oh yeah, one of somebody's poisoned. He's poisoned. When did you get poisoned? When did you get poisoned? You were fighting Drowsy! Am I blind? <laughs> I think I'm blind. General Koga. Because you're now an army general, apparently. Fight me. <laughs> A mere child like you dares to challenge me. Very well. I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. You shall feel the despair of poison and sleep techniques. More threats to the child. He has a crooked smile. Lieutenant Surge is a U.S. war vet, if I remember correctly. Not to mention the lore from X and Y. Once again, there's a level bump. Bubble beam! Darn you. Darn you to hell. <laughs> I think they actually kind of, uh joke about Lieutenant Surge's nationality in later, because I'm reading, once again, reading TV tropes just in my off time. And, uh... Because later, they kind of retcon things and remove real-world elements as much as possible. So, uh, I think somebody was just like, I wonder if Lieutenant Surge came from Yanova. Ah, so you're one of those people, Koga. An asshole. And this is why I have hyper potions, because I'm an even bigger asshole. I am the one who wins. <laughs> Burn them buggers. After War Turtle eats the bug, you gotta feed your turtles. My War Turtle is sleeping for a hundred years. Why? Well, at least he. Wasted it here on a Pokemon that's about to die. Unless my Pokemon's about to die. Well, with that X attack. Huh, didn't actually do that much. Ma huh. Why is he asleep for so long? Finally! Bite him. Bite the bug, eat him. Come on! <laughs> what accuracy is that? Like, I know it missed once at the beginning, but come on, that should at least be 50-50. I should know, I used Clefairy Sing quite a bit to devastating effect. He's using another one. I'm gonna go ahead and hyper potion because I feel a crit coming on. Ah, I did feel a crit coming on. Wouldn't have killed, but still. And I can't even have the respite of knowing that you're running out of power points. 
Wake up, you bastard. Well, that's just friggin' annoying. Fuck you, Striker's gonna murder you now. Now I know how it feels to be the bitch. Wait, do I- don't I have a revive? I could- I could probably have a revive, so at least he can get experience. I will send out Charmeleon, who is poisoned, but eh. And this one's even higher level, dear god. Let's see, don't I have- I have a max revive. Do, do, do. do I just have a normal revive, or did I put those away? I put those away. Yeah, fuck it. I feel like being petty. Ha, <laughs> that didn't even really do much. Ember. This is what you get. Now this one, will it be the same thing, only does a little bit, or what? Ember! Get a crit and kill it! Damn it. And he uses X-Attack, which gives me opportunity to heal my Pokémon. Because this is the greatest. Pokémon battles, they're not about actually battling, they're about healing your Pokémon mid-battle. Ah! So you're one of them. A monster. A double monster! Eh, hey, 69! Oh boy, it was a critical hit too. How dare you. I'm gonna heal to annoy you. See, Koga, I don't need trickeries and sleeping powers and poison. I just need potions. Give me a witch! Come on, Charmeleon, you're smarter than this. Oh, we're back to six to nine. You fool, Koga. I have potions. Now will you please let me kill you. At least they don't have Dream Eater. I remember using a Hypnosis and Dream Eater combo and raking Blaine. Yep. Come on! <laughs> it's so freaking annoying! Let me actually play the game! <laughs> Ugh, we are gonna have. So <laughs> There's so many things in this game that are just like, no, you don't get to play the game. <laughs> Come on, why are you so compute? Fuck off! Why? Once again, what is the ratio on confusion hurting you in there? I wonder if he has a limit on the X attacks in his inventory. You, you, you chose the worst time to use your X attack. Because I wouldn't mind these things, but it's just like they happen so often. The crits happen so often. The, the diddly d goddamn confusion happens so often. Yeah. Wow. That 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 puts me in a nice mood. <laughs> it almost killed it. Kill. Huzzah! <laughs> After all of that, it hit itself. It hit itself. I got the power. Hmm. I think I'll let Pikachu have this one, maybe. Level 50. Ah! Double team! 
Not fast enough for this! Huh, <laughs> badly poisoned. I wonder if there's a difference. And now, agility! And now, let's see. Thunder! It has wings! How dare you! Quick attack! Once again, I have to kind of question the level difference here. Fine. I'll use Goblin. Yeah, what is with the level difference? It's like everyone was like in level the in the 30s. No, none of them even broke 50. Then this guy is like, oh, it's what is bug super effective? That's right, right. Hmm. I'm getting com I'm my brain is crumbling right now. I'm gonna uh, throw sand in his eyes then, I guess. We'll throw sand in the bug's eyes. Oh, now you're using double team too, because you just need that, don't you? You're very annoying. <laughs> like, come on! Why does he have such a high level thing just out of nowhere? Fuck off, game! That doesn't seem, like, fair all that much. It's just like, oh yeah, just here to do a lot of damage for no reason. So you kind of have to play musical death. This is why you need revives. Especially because this game is critical hit the fuck you. And they use items! Because they just hate you. Quit raising your evasion! You don't need it, you jerk! Cause like, if it would like, I don't know, 45 or something, fuck off! Why?! I'm just annoyed because it's just happening so often. We're just like, yeah, we're just gonna have you lose. <laughs> this doesn't seem dub well designed. Come on, why is he such a high level? It's basically Sabrina all over again. He's just annoying to deal with. And there aren't, like, any other gyms. Why? <laughs> yes, this is definitely fun. <laughs> I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna just reset. Because, like, oh, maybe, maybe he'll lo miss a million times. Maybe he'll miss a million times. Screw it. Razor Leaf, I guess. That shouldn't be an almo- Fuck it, I'm resetting. That's just not fun. <laughs> it's not fun to go up against game! Because again, the people before a gym leader need to be the kind of, oh, if you can beat them, you should be decent to fight the main guy. What the hell? <laughs> Why are you like this? And you know what? Fuck you. I'm gonna go heal my Charmeleon just on principle. I still don't know where he got poisoned. Or was it like poisoned from a previous fight? But I don't know. My memory's shot.
Yeah, it's just like... The people before the gym leader really should be an example of how the gym is. And it's just like... You might as well just have level 5 Pokemon at the start and a level 100 at the end for how much... <laughs> they designate how the gym is going to go here. Oh, what's that? You thought this was going to be a fun time? No. You don't get to have a fun time. Pain and misery only. I'm gonna try one more time because it was pretty close. Worst comes to worse, I'll... I know. I'll put Striker in first and have him just throw frickin' sand in their eyes a million times. Yes, 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 you're a giant asshole. Shut up and fight me. But it's just so weird, like, this Venonat, level 44. A little extreme, but I guess not terrible in the grand scheme of things. And maybe I should invest in... Fucking antidotes. I don't want to clog up my items. And now, the slow and tedious thing of fighting you to death. Eh, not that tedious, if that's the damage, but still. Hmm. Because, of course. If you grind for flamethrower, you should be able to cook his team. Yeah, but that's a decent amount of grinding, and... Nyeh, nyeh. If I lose this, I guess I'll go fight the trainers to the left, but it's just like... I don't like being, like... Feel like there isn't a story way to go. Because they're like, yeah. Pain and misery is here. Why is poison so bad? <laughs> Badly poisoned is just an annoying status effect. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Why are there two different poison statuses, apparently? Badly poisoned and then normal poisoned. That's so stupid. I hate it. Why does it all fuck off? I hate that. What do you mean it missed? Game! That is super freaking annoying. Okay, new strategy. Heal the boy. Of course. How did you know? <laughs> you cheating asshole. <laughs> he couldn't have known. He couldn't have known. That's so rude. It's not like poison wears off, so he has literally no reason. We'll throw out Venusaur as a sacrificial lamb as we heal up the boy. That's so obscene. <laughs> Badly poisoned does way too much friggin' damage. And since... Yeah, there's no reason to. Like, I don't want to send out anyone else because the badly... You are an annoying fight. Badly poison should not exist. <laughs> Screw you. Poison is poison. <laughs> that is my philosophy. Poison is poison. Badly poison is just an annoying thing to throw in there. Maybe my boy, Salad, was the way to go, and I'm gonna let him die, apparently. Okay. No, not him. Focus on the Pokemon I have out, please! <laughs> Who knew? Venusaur with Cut was the secret to beating Koga. What the hell? <laughs> K 
can't get poisoned. Even though he's weak to psychic, he has a ton of defense, I guess. And this just means that I can body block and not risk my dudes fi uh, facing off with that badly poisoned until I get at least one sand attack in. <laughs> All right, we'll send out Striker. Sand attack. Hurt by the bad po- What? 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 Why did it not die? What? Why is it that the bad poisoning was doing tons of damage before, but now it isn't? I am very, very confused. I guess that Super Venom attack... Like, if it happened a certain number of turns ago, it has a bonus to the damage? Once again, it would be really nice if there were tooltips. <laughs> I mean, sure, I could look this up, but I don't want to look things up because it's like the kind of defeats the point of playing the game sometimes. Uh, how did that happen? Why is this why? Ah! Scream into the void! Scream into the void! All right, we'll send out Charmeleon. And we'll get some crits. Oh, wait, we'll, we'll, let's see what uh, Ember. Ember! He'll do double team. Mm -hmm. But you can't evade this. Yeah, it's like I'm so confused. Please, double team, be one of those moves that's 100% effective right off the bat and not get worse. <laughs> So that he's just wasting his time? While well, regular poison is set at like 1 16th or 1 32, uh, 32nd of Amon's health, Toxic will continuously grow in damage. Then I kind of wonder why it went away after a while. Did it- was it because I killed the Venonat? And uh, dear god, your double teams are doing nothing, my poor dude! Why are you double teaming? He's dancing back and forth while I buried him alive! What the hell? This went from an absolute stomp with me in pain and misery to me now killing him. And now he's finally using an attack. I'm so confused. He finally missed. I... I am so confused. <laughs> what the hell happened? And now we have to worry about because that poison's gonna do a ton of damage. And he's just killing himself. What? Oh yeah, because I guess it builds up over time, but... Well, I'll give you this, Ninja Jim. You killed yourself! What the hell? What even? Well, the secret was use Venusaur with cut, apparently. HM saves the day! Hmm, you have proven your worth. Here, take the soul badge. Now that you have the soul badge, the defense of your Pokemon increases. It also lets you surf outside of battle. Ah, take this too. Maybe like buff and debuffs, the toxic reverts to regular poison on Switch, or at least in Gen 1. Yeah. I'm uh, so confused. I'm so confused. Like, it was either the Switch, but I could have sworn. Uh, I don't know. Eh. 
That's why I think it should have just been a different poison notification entirely. I don't know, B-poi- Like, B-P-N or something? Like, something to designate that it's different. If I'd confused. <laughs> but hey, we beat Koga. Because of cut. Because they couldn't poison my Venusaur. And then the the Venomoth is just doing double team five billion times in a row. I'm gonna, I'm, I guess I'll teach him my boy. Surf now. And, uh... I guess for now... I will get rid of Water Gun because Bubble Beam just seems to be better so far. Like, each time I use, like, Water Gun and Bubble Beam, it seems like Bubble Beam does more damage. So I don't think there's much point to having Water Gun. And then when I get uh, Hydro Pump, I'll probably get rid of Tail Whip because I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> and by that point, I'll probably be back to my game of, screw you, time for type advantage. So yeah, bye-bye, Water Gun. Get Surf. But yeah, this just continues the game of... Uh, Pokemon Yellow, the first generation, is weird. Let's look at the map. I'll have to move my map. Because I think it's down a bit. Just move that up. Well, actually... There. Now if I ever want my bicycle, I can just get it. Uh-huh. I'm trying to think. Well, yeah, we should go to the left. That way, like, there isn't much reason to go to the left, except one big reason. Trainers. Fight the trainers by going to the left and heading to the place that had the grass-type gym, I think. And then, uh, yeah, Celadon, go to Celadon by taking the path to fight all the trainers. Then we'll wander around, uh, what is it? Saffron? The middle town in there in the cross, because there, there are probably some trainers up and down that I haven't fought. So we get more experience there. And from there, we'll either go grab Zapdos. I probably won't use Zapdos. But, eh, have Zapdos. Just, eh, more experience by getting to Zapdos and stuff. But, yeah. Let's go to the left. Fight, 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 fight. Fight, 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 fight. Fight, fight club. Talk about fight club because... Blah. This is my turf. Get out of here. Well, there's two other dudes that were here before me. Why aren't you fighting them? Is it because you are a little bitch? Methinks it is. Besides, my bird's bigger than yours. Once again, how does a bird growl? Yeah, Surf and Strength allows you to catch Zapdos and Articuno. Because on the one hand, I kind of... I'm not sure if I would use them, though. Because I like my team, and I don't want to rely on legendaries. Like, if there was somebody on my team that I was willing to... <laughs> Basically, if I were playing Pokemon Blue or Pokemon Red, I probably would swap out because I wouldn't have all three starters. But I'm just like, eh, but I want to use the starters, man. Which leaves me with four spots already filled because it's Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and throw Pikachu in there. Thunder it down. I just like my my team. Maybe not the layout too much. Like, yeah, it could be a bit better type advantage-wise. But 
I like my Pokemon and I don't want to change them out. Even for a legendary, because that would mean like Zapdos would take Pikachu's place and Articuno would probably take War Turtle's place. So it's just like, I don't know. Darn! Now this is my turf. I get to bully people here now. Fight me. I always check every grassy area for new Pokemon. You're gonna have like one Pokemon, aren't you? You're gonna have like one. Ah, you have two. I was one off. Oh, that's actually a decent level for... <laughs> compared to the other dude, too. <laughs> Slash him. Wow, you're dead. We're gonna have to stave off another evolution, boys. Yeah, a little tedious with the uh, notifications, but I can deal with it. It's just nice to have everyone getting experience. It's just a nice thing. No, now I'm the one being crit. Ah! Oh. Everybody's leveling up. And I guess that Venusaur... Like, uh, <laughs> I wonder what Venusaur's, like, flamethrower equivalent is. Like, solar beam? No, 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 you, you, we're saving. We're saving you for special moves. Well, let's put War Turtle in front. Fight me. Kuruku! How do you like my bird call? I can't hear it, it's too 8 bit. Well, there's the one one Pokemon guy I was talking about. Bubble Bim. Oh, he has Drill Peck. He's breaking through the soft shell of my Pokemon. What a bastard. Let's see if it'll be three this time again. Three for three beaks. Ah, uh -huh, they surpassed the record. They're getting on my nerves now. All that for a tail whip. But hey, Hyper Potion. Why? Because screw you. I wonder if, like, the use of potions and stuff during battle is frowned upon in, like, an actual Pokemon world. This is a casual battle. Why are you using items? <laughs> You fool. I have bubbles. War turtle. Yay. But yeah, it's just nice to have everyone getting experience. So I don't lopside them too much, even if it does stunt the growth of my Pokemon actively a little bit. It at the very least means, I keep forgetting, I can just teleport, but... It's just nice, so that I don't feel like... Basically, if I have to grind later, the grinding will feel a... maybe a bit more tedious, but at the same time, it will go to everyone a bit more, and it will be a, a little bit less annoying overall. so that I don't accidentally, like, focus on leveling one Pokemon, and then... Because <laughs> that's what... I think I, I've only done two off-screen things with the game so far that haven't been on stream. One was grinding before Misty, just a little bit, in which I swapped out a bunch of Pokemon after grinding for a bit. That was my bad. I don't think I went up here. Let's go up here now. Hello, Chef. I'm looking for Tangela. Wanna trade for Parasect? I already have a Parasect. I think you can get both Parasect and Tangela 
in the Safari Zone. Oh, what? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> you go downhill. Cycling road. Slope ends here. I'm gonna save. I wonder if you can surf around. I might have to do that. But first I want to... Oh, that's it. That's the slope? Nope. There's more slope. Why are you just standing here? Get lost, kid. I'm bushed. Well, I'm going to throw you into a bush now. Ah, he has a decent uh, set of team. Having a team of five Pokemon's pretty neat. Critical hit bite at that. What would the consistency of a coughing be like? Would he be kind of hollow or would he be like a, a fleshy balloon? Let's see. Striker! Ah, uh, yeah, this also reminds me of a thing I was, uh, thinking to myself a bit ago. What would- I would really like there to be a real-time Pokémon game. Like, either where you take control of the Pokémon, and, like, uh, move them about, and, like, uh, have, like, basic attacks, like, Tackle and Scratch can be, like, uh, normal attacks, and then you can select from a menu Kingdom Hearts style for, uh, like, special moves. Or maybe you could still be, like, uh, a possibility could be where you're still controlling the trainer and you're, like, uh, on the outside of the fight ring. And, uh, you have to, like, your Pokemon will be fighting auto a bit, where it would, like, uh, use, like, small attacks on its own, but you have to still have to order it. And you kind of have to, like, look and see how the battle is going from the outside. It's just, like, I would really like there to be a bit of innovation in the Pokemon side games, at least. Because I doubt the main games would ever try something super new. But it would just be, like, really cool if they, like, had a, I don't know, a Pokemon Coliseum or a Pokemon Gale of Darkness. Although I guess you could say that's kind of what Pokemon Arceus is going for, in a way. I haven't been keeping up all that much on Pokemon Arceus. I will... I'm not, uh, maybe I'll play it when it comes out. Like, basically for me, I have a hard time, like, getting new games... I still don't have Metroid Dread, because it's like, but I already have so many games to play. So I, it takes me forever to get around to new games. And then once I finally beat some games and be like, okay, I'll get new games, like it kind of gets to the point where I forget that games exist. <laughs> Not good, you didn't poison the boy. I would have been annoyed by that. Yeah, basically... I need to look and see what, like, games I'm missing in my overall library of Switch games and stuff. Really need to do it. Maybe that could be a thing. Hmm. Because I think Pokemon Arceus comes out middle of next month. Middle of January. So I'll have to see. I'll have to ponder. look more into how Pokemon Arceus plays, see if I would really super be interested in it. Think, 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 funk. <laughs> Are you satisfied? <laughs> oh, Striker is evolving! I'm gonna let this one go through. He'll probably, because basically I've been a little annoyed with most of Pidgeotto's <laughs> stuff, so Pidgeot! Yay. Where do you get fly? I come to think. <laughs> yeah, Arceus is going for a, a turn system like Chrono Trigger, where fast Pokemon get to attack first and more often. Yeah, that kind of, uh, don't throw the game, throw Pokeballs instead. But, yeah, it's kind of going for that, like, move list thing, and then, yeah, yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Be a rebel! So, yeah, 
I might just have to pre-order it because Nintendo is basically the only company I pre-order games for. Oh, okay, that's a new sprite. Cue ball. Oh boy, it's a fighting type. Because I still have some Christmas uh, <laughs> IOUs that I could turn in to get Pokemon Arceus. I shall think, think, think. Wow, rage is a terrible move. Oh, Rage is building. Oh, yeah, that's another thing that I read. Rage is a move that you can only use if you use it. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely have to look into Pokemon Arceus. And I will also have to think about playing Chrono Trigger itself. Because I think I remember playing it a little bit a long, 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 long time ago. But then my eclectic brain was just like, yeah. Nya, 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 nya. And then just never played the after a certain bit. Like, nothing, like, in the game stopped me. It was just me. I stopped me. And I'll have to get around back to it again. Hopefully, now that I'm streaming more, I'll get around to it. Razor Leaf never fails to crit. Jesus Christ. Which also reminds me, I really also, after streaming for however long, I really should get back to trying to make my VTuber model experience. You know, ARG! But basically just go try and mess around with making a VTuber model software, get some experience in there, and have a half-tried abomination to make streams a little bit more interesting. My Pokemon won't evolve! Why? Because you don't love them! Or they're trade-only. Their link cable Pokemon. I don't know. Are you a link cable Pokemon? Maybe. Bubble Beam. Oh, it's also level 33. The twist they are going on, the attack order is strong versus fast style. Yeah, I remember that. Like, the moment you said, uh, kind of has the Chrono Trigger attack style, my brain flashed back to a bit of one of the trailers. Because I think I've only ever seen two trailers. I'm like, oh yeah! That there were like two different things. You could go for more damage or more moves. And then it's kind of kind of ish real time because you kind of sneak up on Pokemon. Why you? What did I do? I played the Pokemon game. I played it. I played you. And then we're gonna have to go down the other side to fight them. Let Voltorb electrify you! It's just gonna freaking explode, isn't it? I'm gonna get it to half health, and it's just like, Voltorb self-destruct! <laughs> oh, this is very bad. Hmm. Venus over. I'm optimistic for Arceus, but the research tasks to complete the Pokedex seem like an unfun grind without context in-game. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think it's kind of going for a kind of monster hunter, or like, mission system-ish thing a little bit. It'll definitely depend how it actually plays in-game uh, to dictate how it works. But, but then again, I'm kind of a weirdo. I like the Breath of the Wild... Uh, degradation system for items so it's entirely possible even if some people dislike it and find it grindy I would still like it hey look 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 I said it's gonna explode and it exploded I I'm the winner I win the game it, it didn't even do that much damage it it it, 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 it did like 21 damage if <laughs> I'm the winner Evolve three Shinx, defeat 15 with ground moves, defeat 25 total. She Shinx bite 25 times. And that's just for one. So yeah, it very much depends on how the flow of the game goes. Then, because... I'm trying to think of the words. If the flow of the game kind of naturally encourages that through gameplay... <laughs> we're bikers, highway stars. We'll definitely have to wait and see how it works in-game. 
But yeah, from the sound of it, that could be very uh, grindy. Although I've never really been one for Pokedex completion, so maybe I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. For I. That sprite looks so, so silly. That's where I have to get rid of my... Okay, good. But yeah. At the very least, they're trying something different, which I really am happy for. I'm really happy that Pokemon's, like, trying some new things. <laughs> what happened to that sprite? It used Minimize! So it went really small. I wonder what Minimize looks in later generations. Smoked! Al. Al. <laughs> I need a little exercise. Is it because you're fat? God, I forget the quirks in in with yellow and Gen 1. <laughs> yep. And I forgot that I had Pidgeotto in. Hmm. Pikachu, you go. That also reminds me, I really need to... Like, uh, cause what I, one thing that I'm kind of trying to do is play Pokemon games generally by uh, release. So eventually I'll have to get to Pokemon uh, Colosseum and Gale of Darkness. That'll be interesting. And then eventually I'll get to play uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon again. With this little, like, Pokemon retrospective. I should, I, that's what I should name my streams. Pokemon retrospective streams. Maybe. Perhaps. We'll have to wait and see. Because basically this is all off the cuff. I have no plans. I'm terrible at planning. My Pikachu will lightning you all to death. We yeah, are just like a ma basically I want a Pokemon game that can eventually play like the anime feels. Like imagine that you like uh get to a certain point like a bunch of trainers can challenge you at the same time and like <laughs> like I don't know just funny little things. Get that feeling out there. After Gen 2, Minimize returns the sprite to normal size. Ah. Is about to use a Machop, then I shall send out my Watswats. Wow. Your father is dead. And soon you will be too small child. Small muscle building child. Your muscles will atrophy later in life. Oh yeah, and then I also, I'll also be able to play that uh, Pokemon Conquest game. It's one of those games that's just like, it stars Eevee. And it's a weird tactics game, and I'll have to play it sometime, I always told myself. Ooh, good workout. He's a good noodle, apparently. I need to heal, probably. Because my poor striker is dying. Because I still haven't learned my lesson. I just refuse to bring antidotes. Just gear for all the fights, dude. Nice bike! How does it handle? There was a fan game that got struck down where you play as a trainer, but once the battle starts, you control the Pokemon. You move in the set area and can attack and dodge sort of like a clunky Diablo. Hmm. I can say that mainly because uh, the Pokemon Company is a bit more stringent on Pokemon fan games than other companies, even Nintendo. A lot of people are like, eh, Nintendo is cruel to fan games, but not really. 
most of the games that get struck down have very, like, they're either that one guy who's just like, I make a million Super Mario 64 ROM hacks, and he keeps getting struck down for whatever reason. But otherwise, most games that, like, fan games that get struck down by Nintendo are either, hey, it's literally the same Nintendo game, but with a quirk like those 3D NES, like that 3D NES, uh, browser plug-in thing. It's just like, no duh, you're literally just at playing a Pokemon, or a, playing a Nintendo ROM. What did you expect? <laughs> then there's others that are like, get struck down because they're tied to a Patreon, so they direct, like, it's literally, this fan project's Patreon, instead of this person who is making this fan project's, it's their Patreon. It's like small little quirks like that. <laughs> that was the worst worthless disable scratch is disabled ah scratch is no longer disabled why <laughs> but yeah when it comes to fan games usually if it gets struck down it's because they are directly profiting off it or selling it like even that uh there was even a uh two modders for street fighter that had their patreons shut down because they were paywalling their, uh, their mods, which was an interesting thing. But yeah, and then there was also, like, <laughs> another Metroid 2 remake, which is, like, <laughs> on the one hand, uh, like, uh, it's literally a remake of an old game, and then it just came out at the worst time. It came out, like, right before... Metroid 2 Remake was coming out on the 3DS, or was being announced. Press the A or B button to stay in place while on a slope. Oh, that's nice to know. Uh, was shut down after years of work despite being free. But, like, again, that's because it was literally a previous Metroid game, and because Nintendo was releasing their own remake around them. That's another one of the tenets. Making money is one, being direct competition is another. And that was, like, literally the most direct competition. Because you just know people are gonna- would be like, Mwaha, why pay for Metroid on 3DS when you can just play it on your computer? Actually, no, I'm heading away from Fachusia. But at the very least, uh, another Metroid 2 remake had the... Uh, what is it? I'm trying to think. The, uh, had the- the- the good grace, not not the good grace, but like the luck to come out right af right before it was actually released, and then they got the cease and desist. So it still exists out there. So it was more of a formality than anything. But yeah, people like I understand why people get annoyed, but at the same time, you have to understand. Sometimes when something is struck down, it has a good reason. <laughs> Some are a bit more weird, like that one guy who made, like, the Mario Battle Royale, like, joke game. Uh, he got struck down because it was basically a few levels of Mario, so... It's kind of, kind of felt like a bit piratey to Nintendo, probably. But then he's like, Super Copyright Bros Battle Royale, and then he still got, cr uh, struck down. Which was probably because he already got the eye of Nintendo on him. And so, <laughs> they're just like, we n we all know what this is. <laughs> like, this even happened to the My Little Pony fan game, uh, which spawned them's fighting herds. It was originally called My Little Pony Fighting is Magic. A lot of people think that, uh, there were two reasons that people think that uh, fighting is magic uh, got the cease and desist. One is because it had high production value. So people think that uh, Hasbro was worried people would look at uh, Fighting as Magic and be like, wow, this must be an officially endorsed thing because it looks so much like the show. But the other thing that makes a lot of people think that Fighting as Magic got booted for was because it was at EVO one year. Its beta was at EVO, and money changed hands in some capacity. 
And because of that, uh, like, it was either because it was a, a, like, a prize pool tournament or something, money changed hands in relation to fighting his magic. And that's just a big no-no when it comes to fan games. Keep money away from your fan projects. Like, the most that you can do and pray to the gods that they let slide is if you have a Patreon or a donation platform that's just like, Hey, I am the creator person. Please help me, the creator person, continue creating. Because otherwise, uh, money changing hands is very finicky. Uh, meanwhile, the, uh, BLT General says, Meanwhile, the Mad Lad has made huge mods for Halo and Dark Souls, and Microsoft and, uh, FromSoft don't seem to care. Yeah, cause, uh, oh yeah, Inferno Plus. That's a little bit different because they're mods. And mods are from uh, a weird place. Like, sure, the two Street Fighter Patreons got shut down because they used, uh, they were making mods, but then paywalling them. So they were in weird places. And, uh, they even explicitly said when they, uh, shut down the Patreons, Hey, all you have to do is not paywall your mods. <laughs> and then we will, like, because it's kind of thing, you are profiting off this to a certain degree. And it's also a Japanese company because Street Fighter. So it's just like, copyright is very odd when it comes to making something for an, a pre-existing thing. Like, even fan art is in a weird place because technically the people making the fan art are, aren't involved anyway, but then the people who own the copyright to the fan, like the, the IP that is being fan worked, don't own the copyright to the fan work itself. So it's just like very weird things in the digital age that copyright law is not built to handle. And it's just like, there's so many like varying things. Like another funny one in relation to Pokemon is uh, I heard about, there's this uh, artist who has a Patreon and they were making a certain uh, Eevee comic. Let us just call it rule 34 in nature. And they actually got, uh, hit up by a Game Freak lawyer. There's no money in fighting kids. And the Game Freak lawyer literally said, Hey, you can continue making this, just don't host it on, like, don't put it on Patreon. You can host it anywhere else, make it and post it to your heart's content, but just, uh, don't relate it to Patreon. They literally said that, and it's just like, that's the most hilarious thing to me. Yeah, keep making porn, but just don't uh, focus on it on your Patreon when it comes to our IP. I found that hilarious. Make porn of our, P our IP all you want. Just don't link it on your Patreon. <laughs> Which is extra funny because I think Nintendo, like, a long time ago, uh, basically tried to have a war on a uh, uh, saucy work of their IPs. <laughs> Pokemon knows how large their R34 community is, lol. Indeed. How do you think they found that guy's Patreon? <laughs> but, like, there, there was a while ago that Nintendo actually had a war on Rule 34 for a while. And I think they're still kind of doing it, where <laughs> sometimes the, certain things will get hit. But they've largely toned it down. Uh, but at the same time, they still kind of do it. Things are weird. But yeah. Basically, for me, I don't really get that angry when it comes to a fan work being shut down. Like, I'm more annoyed at, like, with fan fiction getting struck down. Because a lot of the time, fan fiction is just, like, so far removed from... The original work that is like... <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, overall, copyright law was not built to handle... ...the internet. It just wasn't. <laughs> Route 16, Celadon to Fachusia. 
Oh, yeah. But in the end, it's just like... It takes something really egregious for me to go, How dare you shut this down? Because most of the time, they were either making money or they were in direct competition. Like, that's another thing why a lot of Pokemon fan games and fan projects get shut down. Is because... Either they're making money, or they are a direct Pokemon RPG. So it's just like, hey, guess what? You are in direct competition with the Pokemon company. <laughs> and it's just like, it's super difficult to set lines and boundaries because either it's, it's just like super weird. It's super weird. And there's not much you can really do because both sides kind of have a point a lot of the time. <laughs> it's like this game is like directly competing or taking. Then it gets weird when like poke like a uh, ROM hacks, like uh, the Mario 64 ROM hacks and stuff get shut down. I guess it could still be thing like this is still in direct competition with Mario 64, so maybe. Yeah. Copyright law, it's weird and silly. But another, like, uh, fan project thing that uh, lives at the back of my mind for whatever reason was a Harry Potter fan film, which was basically supposed to be uh, the early life of Voldemort, to a degree. And uh, they actually ran into... Because uh, I think at first they, like, worked it out with the rights holder and was like, hey, can we do this? They said, sure. But then they went and did a crowdfunding campaign to get money to make it, and the people stepped in and said, hey, 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 no, 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 no money touching this project. Uh, you can keep the money that you already made through that, but you have to spend it and get rid of it by the end of production. You can't <laughs> keep it. <laughs> Yeah, they're like three big tenants to fan projects. <laughs> I'm feeling hungry and mean. The big tenants to making fan projects. If it's too professional looking, it might get hit. If it is too... Like, if it's too popular or official looking, it just might get hit in general. If you make money in any shape, way, or form related to that project, it might... It'll probably get hit. And then, if it is based off of a pre-existing thing, like a fan game, if your fan game matches the original gameplay or original design too much, it will probably get hit because it's just like, hey, this is our thing, just remixed. Hey, you just bumped me, you, you came to me, you came to me, you bumped me, you were the one that I was stopped, and you moved towards me. Jerk. And you only have one Pokemon, what's wrong with you? Yeah, just in the end, copyright and fan stuff is very wonky and weird. And if you exist within the fan works area, you kind of have to expect on some level to get called up and basically have them say, Hey, we think that you are infringing in some way or damaging in some way. Like, I think even the big VTuber streaming companies like Hololive actually have issues streaming games. Because I'm not big on the VTuber scene, hilariously, despite the fact that I want to learn the Cubism Live 2D and make my own VTuber model. I don't watch VTubers just because I have a limited brain span and I actually don't watch that many streams all that often because they take a lot of, uh... Because just how my attention span works. But I heard that apparently... Streaming... Like, these VTuber streaming companies actually have to get a license to stream games because of various issues they've run into in the past, which is just like, Jesus. Because that's just not something you think about when you think about streaming. Because you just see so many people streaming, but at the same time, 
the big VTuber companies are probably in a weird place. Primarily because they are companies. And that probably seems a lot different to game cre like uh, game publishers because when you see like a single person playing a game, like a single streamer, they're probably their own LLC, but it's just like one person and maybe a small team purely just streaming games. But then you have these companies that are just like decently big and they are trying to do the same thing. It feels different, so I don't know. I'm not knowledgeable enough about VTubers and the VTubing industry to really say if it's fair or not for VTuber companies to have to get streaming licenses. Because it does... <laughs> like I said, copyright law was not made to contend with the internet. Sure, there's the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, but... It, it still was not made for content creation. <laughs> Just, it wasn't. Hey, hey, hey. I want to fight. <laughs> what do you want? A fight. <laughs> See, this one worked because I didn't come into his line of sight. I talked to him. I bugged him. Yeah, just in the end... The internet is very odd in relation to everything. The internet complicates things. It's a wonderful miracle of a technical marvel, but it really does make things weird sometimes. Let's see. I feel like I probably skipped a bunch of conversational topics to get here. Now my brain feels mush. Yeah, I'll keep Pikachu out. Yeah, I'll have to definitely look into Pokemon Arceus. Look a bit more at the gameplay and then probably go out and grab it sometime when it comes out. But a part of me is just like, ah, oh, but I have to play like Pokemon Platinum before because my brain goes into that. Oh yeah, I'll have to get back on to Pokemon. Uh, oh yes, Pokemon Kingdom Hearts, my favorite. I'll definitely have to come back to Kingdom Hearts sometime, probably when I make a nice uh, schedule. That's what I should do. <laughs> Don't you dare laugh. I will laugh all I want because I'm a mean person. Yeah, because right now I'm just like going crazy with streams. Just like, I feel like playing a game. <laughs> nice bike, hand it over. But you already have one. Why do you need my bike? Oh, never mind. You, you're not on a bike. Understandable. You still can't have mine. Because yeah, I just have so many games that I want to get to. So, so many games I want to get to. Like... I've gotten the Dark Legacy, Second Sight, Turok Evolution, Luigi's Mansion. Quite a few Zelda games I also want to get to eventually. I even set up my Wii U so I could do Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD. Just need to get to it eventually. Eventually. And that's probably what are, where a schedule would come in handy. But at the same time, I also feel like a schedule kind of prevents me. Because if I, because I, I don't know, brain. Really, I just need to get into a better time management. Where I do things in the morning and then stream in the evening. That way I can have things feel normal. Need to beat back the procrastination. Huh. <laughs> Knockout! That's what you get for trying to steal my bike. And I'm gonna teleport back. Just because everyone is poisoned and stuff. And I don't want to risk not getting to my... To the... Diddly D. I want all my Pokemon to get uh, experience. And I don't think you get experience if you're unconscious. You need to be able to look at the battle and learn it.
let us see. What are the things? <laughs> oh yeah, I've also been finally got around to a streamlining thing because I like to upload my VODs. I finally created uh, a nice, hopefully, a nice way to have outros baked straight into the stream by just having like a little media a button so that I can, at the end of the stream, just go to that scene and play that file and then before each stream, I can change it out to whatever game it is. So it can be nice and personalized. Because what I usually do is have, like, a little bit of gameplay in the left window of the outro. So, for the games that I'm doing a first stream of, I'll just have, like, their title there. Make it nice and simple. And I'm primarily doing that because I don't really have a reason to edit my VODs. And usually my VODs come out, like, if I just have a straight recording of the VOD, it usually is of lower, uh, what's the word, uh, size. It has a lower data size than if I actually render it, which is kind of funny. We're going riding together. You're gonna have your bike stolen. I'm going for a ride with my girlfriend. Good for you. Apparently, small child. Another Snorlax! Huh! Okay... I did not know there was another Snorlax. I completely forgot that there was a second Snorlax in this game. I should have still have the Poke Flute. Poke Flute! Wake up! Woke up and flew into a rage! I'm Snore! And this is Venusaur! Waha! Of course you started sleeping. I don't want to use my Razor Leaf, because Razor Leaf will just probably kill it. I can't risk Razor Leaf. It's too powerful. It only crits, and I'm not sure how much damage it would actually do. Now's the time. It's awake. It's low health. Go, Great Bull! I'm just gonna want to catch it for posterity. How dare you? Fine, another cut. Quit headbutting my iron saw. Great ball. Victory. I will not give it a nickname. Enjoy the slope, cycling road. I think a slope would be dangerous, actually. All things considered. And this is probably just a training area, get random Pokemon. And we're just right here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Guess we could surf over, talk to the old man, see what he has to say. Surf. Hello, old man. Hello there. I've seen you, but I never had a chance to talk. Here's a gift for dropping by. TM41. What the hell is TM41? Ooh, and while we're here, uh... Soft boiled. I don't have a chancy. I can't use it. But we'll drop by the... Pokemon Centaur. And uh, then we'll go back and see if we can resurrect uh, the, do uh, the dome fossil. Because I think we should be able to do that now. Just so I can get it out of my inventory. 
Because at this rate, probably not going to use it in combat. You know what would be cool? You know what would be cool? Like, I have uh, actually been reading a Pokemon fanfiction. I actually forget its name. It's like something of the ashes. It's a, a Peggy Sue fic a little bit. Where Ash is sent back in time because Cyrus actually won and remade the world. So, <laughs> that's fun. But one little thing that there's just like, I want Ash to use all his Pokemon. So it's just like, made it so that Ash had a lot of more access to his Pokemon than in canon. It would be kind of nice if you could teleport in your Pokemon from the box more easily. But then that would also need them to kind of redo a bunch of the... Uh, what's the word? Redo a bunch of the experience balancing, which would be exceedingly difficult. We're not going to go there just yet. We're heading back to see if we can revive the fossil. I'm trying to think, where is the museum? Let's map. It's probably to the left. Oh crap, do we have to go through a cave? Because if we have to go through a cave, I kind of don't want to. Yeah, we have to go through a cave, I'm not going. <laughs> My bad. I thought. Because this, <laughs> we have to go to Pewter and for the museum. I don't want to do that. I'm just trying to think, because... We haven't leveled up that much. To just... Well, let's take a look. Who does it expect me to fight? It expects me to fight Sabrina next. And I don't think I'm a decent level to fight her. We will go check out the shop, because I probably have a decent amount of monies. So we'll go to the shop, buy things, and I guess maybe try our luck at fighting Sabrina or something. Max Repel, Full Heal, Revive. There's a decent amount of revives here. I'll buy seven. They're not full revives, but I, at the same time I haven't used... Much, much. The fossil restoration is on Cinnabar, not Pewter City in yellow. Oh! Good to know. But, because, let's see, what level are my Pokemon? Still right before 40. Let's see. Town map. Then I guess we'll head back to Fachusia City and go down to Cinnabar just to see what the trainers are around there. Get a few more exper get a bit more experience by fighting trainers. And then hopefully around then we can come back, fight Sabrina on a bit more of an even level. Wait. Because this means... I was like, part of me is just like, wait a minute. That way, it leads bad place. That, that We have to go through a cave down there, I think. So we might as well just head to Lavender Town to the right. Because then we don't have to go through a cave. I don't like caves. But what I will do is probably go through more... Grass... If we can, if it's in the way, fight a bit of random Pokemon. Which means, surfing a bit more. So we can get some random battles out here. Ah, oh, we can't actually. Because this is here for some reason. Now we will f surf.
so we can get to random battles. And while it won't be a lot of experience, it will still be okay. It'll be some experience, at the very least. And slowly but surely, whittling away at our experience problem. Made even slower, but, well, <laughs> at the same time, slower and not slower. TM16, what are you? Watch it be Hydro Bomb. Payday! <laughs> That's my favorite video game. I get to rob the rich people. Let's just think. Just, like, plan out things, because at the very least, we should be able to also, like, go down and even fight Blaine's gym on Cinnabar Island, I think. Unless there's a specific thing to get into Cinnabar Gym? Because I want to say that there's something funky with the Cinnabar Gym. Like, get a key, because I think we have to go into the ruined lab and get a key in the ruined lab to access Blaine's lab or something. <laughs> it's been a billion years. But either way, we can get a bit more random battles and trainer battles in. And that should level us up a decent bit to take on. Wow, we did not get any random battles there. We were surfing all the way, way, way home. Utter madness. We didn't fight you? Why did my brother make go this way? What the hell? My brain... My brain... is not blasting. And that's very bad. Wow, would you look at that? Razor Leaf Crit! Good thing we went this way! Wandering about aimlessly. We found another trainer we haven't slaughtered. <laughs> Even Goblin, who hasn't seen a fight in all this time. Reflect. Should you... He knows Psybeam Confusion and Psychic. Eh, I'm just not gonna bother. Oh, I forgot. You have to... It's one of those weird things like... No, I don't take the fact that I'm pressing B a lot to mean, please go away. <laughs> yeah, basically, more training in, that's n some not grinding. <laughs> Maybe even go to the power plant? I'm trying to remember. But the power plant's kind of a... Da -da -da -da. No, the power plant should be in a decent place to get to, I think. Maybe. I'm just thinking, 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 thinking. Geography is not my specialty. Venusaur, the monster, slaughtering all. Because for whatever reason, la l Razor Leaf is just an ungodly powerful move all of a sudden. It just never misses with its crits. It sometimes miss, but it never misses crits. And once again, a bird that growls. An oddity in this world, but not terrible. <laughs> Out of power! PP up, but that's not super worthwhile in the end. 
I need to, when we get to Fachuzia City, I'll throw some items into storage. Yeah, it's not like a crazy find. Still don't know why I never fought that guy before. And, uh, no, not Pokemon. Although, being able to ride your Pokemon for a speed boost would be cool. Just gotta put myself in the way of as many random fights as possible. And then I need to find the way down. So that I can actually use Surf to get elsewhere. Oh yeah, because I guess it, it all... Uh, I'm trying to think on the words. But basically it has... Not, not only is it resistant, but it also is the same type. Which probably has a bonus resistance or something. Why are you trying to poison the salad? You cannot poison the salad. And let's take a look at the town map. Yep, from Fachusia, we should be able to go down. We'll definitely have to make sure... Oh yeah, just down from the gym, that makes sense. But we'll put away our TMs, because we don't use TMs in this house. We'll also use the Pokemon Center, that way if we need to teleport, we can teleport back here. Yeah, just get a lot of experience fighting in. But I do find it funny that Koga and Sabrina are kind of on the same level for me. They seem to have similarly leveled Pokemon. Wait, why am I accessing Bill's computer? That's in command. I need to access my computer. So I can put away things. Don't need the HM anymore, so we can store that. I'll keep the rod just in case. I'll put away the TMs. Oh yeah, and I found a funny thing. It's just like, why do you get the super rod, and then you come in here, and then you get the good rod? What is the difference? You got the old rod, the super rod, and then the, the good rod. N makes no sense. What does one do with all these rods? Now let's go down here so we can see everything. More people to fight! Yay! My favorite thing. Combat. And people in Speedos! Now this is pod racing. Oh yeah, I forgot you're resistant for some reason. It's so weird. Resistant and just like, bleh. And then we'll destroy the shelter as well. The shelter a welder. Obliterate the fool. Bye bye. One downside. <laughs> All warmed up to get wet. Wait, you'll have a heart attack! Why? Looking at you? 
I'll have a heart attack looking at you. I, I could believe that. Oh boy. The fish with a beak. Because it has peck for some reason. Still makes no sense. In this house, we pray at the altar of razor leaf. Sure, let's get Striker in. Let's have Striker get some fun. Wing attack. And then I guess while we do a bunch of fighting and grinding, I could also talk about that Pokemon fanfic that I've been reading. Another reason why they wanted the ability to have Ash use all his Pokemon more often is also because they were like, these people never went back for all those Pokemon they said they'd go back for. <laughs> like Pidgeot, who is just like stuck guarding a forest forever. <laughs> poor, poor Pidgeot. How dare you spit water at my beloved bird! Quick attack! But what other things? What other things? What other sings? I don't know. Ooh, that's chilly! So one got warmed up, and the other one got cold. Magical. Alright, let's go into this house. Dogs and burgers on special today. Hey, Pikachu, it's another you. It's some sort of machine. I wonder what kind of machine. But, now we get into the open sea. I guess I'll save quickly. And, uh, then, nope, not item. Pokemon are not an item. Do, 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 do. Fight me. I look at the sea to forget. That's disturbing. I look into the fire to forget. What is it you long to forget, my boy? Is it your family? Is it the drugs? Is it the Pokemon? What is it that you long to forget, my boy? We'll have to talk to him after we beat him to see if we can glean any more information about his... his drama. Hey, War Turtle, bite the seahorse. Because in universe I'm riding on top of him, that means that in the water I'm on top of my War Turtle who's just running after the seahorse. Which must be a hilarious sight. And now, what is it you forget? Ooh, traumatic! I'm looking at the sea to forget! Just some, uh, inexplicable trauma. Ah, another tentacool! We've yet to run into a tentacruel. That's also an odd part of the anime where a tentacruel just destroys a city. It's been so long, I don't even remember that episode. I just remember it being in the opening for some reason. Hey kids, Pokemon are awesome. Watch this one commit murder. I love swimming, what about you? Well, considering that I'm on top of a Pokemon and not in the water, I think that explains it.
I wonder how many episodes of the anime there's been now, and how many movies there's been. I honestly don't know. I'll have to get around to it someday. If only for the funds. The happy lols. I shall send out Pikachu, I guess. Pikachu murders you! <laughs> belly flop! I will not do a belly flop into the ocean. Because I'm a responsible swimmer. What's beyond the horizon? Probably another horizon. Quick, here's a razor leaf. Can't really use our poor Charmeleon. He'd get eaten up in a moment. Currently 1,180 episodes aired. Wow! I find it funny that every... I Like, I hear about... I hear about, like, uh, Detective Conan having a bunch of episodes. I, you hear about One Piece having a bunch of episodes. People just like, yeah, the Pokemon animes existed for five billion years, but nobody actually says anything about it. It's honestly surprising they never really tried, beyond Pokemon Yellow, to make a game that tied into the anime. You'd think that they would have, considering. But no, the anime is like, meant to tie into them the games more than anything. And that's why Ash is never allowed to grow up. Maybe I should get into reading the Pokemon mangas. I heard go good things about them. They're probably niche enough that all the interesting things are just there. Of course you would confuse my poor bird. It's flying! You want it to die? Now, nah, this is your captain speaking. I'm quite confused. Mwah. <laughs> Glob. Fight me. I tried diving for Pokemon, but it was a no-go. Silly you, you need a diving suit to do that. I still don't know why Goldeen knows Peck. I still do not know. The manga is pretty strange from what I remember, says BLT General. Hmm. It also depends on the manga, because I think there are different mangas. Because there's like the manga that's like a super weird comedy manga featuring a Clefairy. And then I think there's another Pokemon manga that's like, uh... I forget. I want to say there's at least two Pokemon mangas. There might be more, technically. Sea King, we have yet to see you. Let us murder you. Now that's a horn. I think there's a whole decaying and zombie Pokemon bit in the Lavender Town section of the Kanto Adventures. Yep. Then there's also an Arbok that gets cut in half, but it gets better. Then also apparently Giovanni 
just slaughters a bunch of Pokemon just to set himself as, as an actual villain. He's just like... Because I think I even watched a video where apparently Rayquaza just all but murders someone. Actual blood and everything. Pokemon, it could be so much more. Why is there a level 10 tentacle? The waters. It's just like the ocean. Anything can be there. Like plastic. In future games, that trash Pokemon that's literally just uh, bags of garbage should be found in the ocean. For all that social commentary. I have to go back and forth just so I can make sure that I catch all the truth. <laughs> Why is there so many people here? These waters are treacherous. There are also books. To, uh, look, there also looks to be 25 animated movies. Huh. I guess that kind of makes sense. Kinda ish, one movie a year ish round with a few years skipped. I'm so happy I'm so overleveled that your rap does nothing to me. But yeah, I really need to go watch more Pokemon. Just enjoy the Pokemans. Because Pokemon's a fun series. I think some people take it a bit too seriously, like... Er, how dare this series with five billion Pokemon not put all the Pokemon into every single game? Sure, it's a little frustrating, but at the same time, you have to be a little kind. Especially because I kind of wish that the... Uh, well, it is true that the development team really should have more time to make these games. That is the one downside to Pokemon being such a huge thing. Like, really, the only ones that have any freedom are the side games. Because the main games are tied to the locomotion of the franchise. Because they gotta worry about the trading card game and the anime. They just have so many things going on that they can't really delay the main games if they have a set date to come out. Which is super sad. But yeah, it's capitalism. Let's see. Who should we throw out? Throw out Pikachu into the ocean. Darn it. Pikachu should have been able to learn surf. He's surfing in the intro. Skip through all the experience games. Ah, we're finally seeing a Tentacruel up in here. It just looks weird. It looks like it has a beak. Which I guess is true of squids. I think it's squids. Squids or octopuses, one of them actually do have beaks. So yeah, that, that, that tracks. It just looks kind of weird here. I also still want to know why they frickin' sank the SSN in the anime. <laughs> it's super wacky. Dangerous. Ooh. Ooh, indeed. Oh, I just love your ride. Can I have it if I win? That's my war turtle. You may not have him if you win. 
Now I'm just imagining, like, you uh, float up to this Pokemon trainer, like, ooh, <laughs> then if, as they challenge you, they just rise out of the water in a pristine dress without it being sullied by the water at all. Since we're so high level... Hey, Charmeleon. Maybe you'll survive out here in the water. Use your slash attack! Now I'm imagining Charmeleon as like a medieval knight with a sword. And he's slashing his foes with his sword. Note to self, get good at drawing and draw that. But that requires drawing armor, and armor difficult. And swords. Swords, so flat looking, but they are so easy to make look wrong. Just look at Thundercat's roar! Ha 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 ha! I have a vendetta against that show. Yay! He broke through the confusion! Good Charmeleon! Pat pat pat. My brain is going in other places, what it must have be. I've also been playing uh, Risk of Rain 2 lately. I have mixed feelings about that game. Mainly because you can only have mixed feelings about a game where enemies can start shooting at you as you spawn and knock you off the level and kill you right as the game begins. And have that happen twice in a row. It feels like the difficulty is wonky, but it's like, oh, it's a roguelike. I was like, eh, I don't know. Sometimes, eh, it's a roguelike is just a veil for poor design sometimes. It's just very difficult to parse sometimes. Blah. I've also, it's been a while since I've played Halo Infinite. I'm really disappointed with that game. Oh, I lost. Yeah, and you can't have my Pokemon either, you, you, you lass. But yeah, I have mixed... I, I'm very disappointed with Halo Infinite. The gameplay's decent. The servers are shit. And they're like, We have to pay... Force you to pay $20 for meager things. Because Daddy Microsoft won't let us use the pristine servers. Yes, yeah, it's like, We have to pay for our servers. And then they just have terrible servers as is. Don't you just love being shot behind a corner? <laughs> it's just such a weird, weird thing. Also hilarious that once they released the campaign for Halo Infinite, Big Team Battle broke. I think they had to lower the amount of people that could play in Big Team Battle purely because it was so hard to get into a match, and I'm not sure if they fixed it yet. I kind of stopped checking the subreddit around the time that I stopped really playing the game, and I just like, I don't really care anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's the funny thing where the gameplay is super good, but the microtransactions are so terrible I don't want to play the game. Because the microtransactions, they're a part of the game, and things that is like, Really annoyed, it's just like, oh look, there's something that's $20 that I would have spent $5 for. And now I'll never get it. And that just really makes me not want to play the game anymore. Extra hilarious is like, before the game came out, they're like, oh, we don't want our players to experience fear of missing out. Let us design the game to only be fear of missing out. <laughs> also, not to mention, I have uh, no respect for the team at all due to the fact they gutted the battle pass. Because originally, the battle pass for Halo Infinite was supposed to go up to 120 levels. They gutted it 20 levels and more and just filled it up with a bunch of challenge swaps, which I hate. Challenge swaps are predatory and stupid. You should just be able to change the challenges infinitely to whatever you want. 
basically just go with the RNG, change it, or, I don't know, have it be a Dead by Daylight thing, where you can change it, like, maybe change each one of the active ones once a day, because they do the annoying thing <laughs> where you can only do three at a time, four if you bought the Battle Pass, which is just like, why? Why would you do that? <laughs> it's super annoying to, like, have all these challenges, but then you can only do certain challenges, and you can't progress any of the other ones that aren't directly there in slots. So you get into those annoying situations where, like, oh boy, I sure would have liked to have this challenge earlier. And then, like, they started with the challenges being super terrible. Like, when I was playing it, I still had little Vietnam flashbacks whenever I saw an enemy team get a scorpion. Because I was like, finally! It's been three weeks! I can finally get that destroy the enemy scorpion challenge! <laughs> and then I... <laughs> yeah, just Halo Infinite is just, like, such a disappointing game. And the sad thing is, I want to get the, the campaign at times... But then I remember just how terribly and borderline maliciously the multiplayer was designed. And I'm just like, now I don't want to get the campaign anymore. <laughs> it's just like, there's so many games that I want to play. That it's just like, I, <laughs> out of all, like, I have too many games already as is. And this, Halo Infinite's campaign could have been one of those things that I just like, get and play immediately. But... It was just, like, so poorly done. Also find it hilarious. Oh, we have to cut off the multiplayer from the campaign and just fill it up with a ton of microtransactions to justify the server cost and then still sell the campaign for 60 bucks. Oh, well, you see, it's because the campaign is open world now. You know, yet another thing that nobody asked Halo to be. <laughs> 343 just seems to have a habit, apparently, of doing things with Halo and be like, well, we have to do this with Halo because we made these changes. And then everyone goes, then why did you make those changes? <laughs> nobody asked for this. Oh, and also, just fuck the armor core system. The Armor Core system is literally the most free-to-play bullshit that I have ever seen in a free-to-play game. Even some freaking mobile games aren't as scummy as the Armor Core system is. It's literally, oh hey, <laughs> the water is shallow here. The Armor Core system limits you the use of armor in the game. So, the already limited amount of armor that you get in Halo Infinite is lowered even more by the fact that you might get only certain pieces of armor for certain armor core. And cross you can't even have cross-core colors. And it's just like, literally... Before Halo Infinite, the most free-to-play game that I ever experienced was Dead by Daylight. After playing Halo Infinite, Halo Infinite is now the most free-to-play game I've ever experienced. From pure, absolute scumminess. And, like, I even put, like, League of Legends there. League of Legends didn't feel as scummy to play from a free-to-play perspective than Halo Infinite does. It's just really annoying. Because it plays super well. <laughs> Which makes it even worse. It's just like, oh boy, all the potential. Aurora Beam. Huh. I'll use Razor Leaf. Kind of amusing that uh, Pokemon can be super effective against each other. <laughs> That's kind of amusing.
Do, do. But yeah, we're getting better experience draws. <laughs> Splash! I shall go ahead and teleport back because I don't want poison to go off for super long. But yeah, in the end, I can excuse some free-to-playness in free-to-play games, but it's just like, Halo Infinite really crosses a million lines. Especially it's just like, oh, it has to be, the, the microtransactions have to be this way because servers. Meanwhile, high res with paladins just gives out their premium currency in the free track of their battle pass. You don't even get, that's the most hilarious thing, you don't even get any premium currency in the Halo Infinite battle pass. And it's just like, that is the moment you know that you're in a really terrible free to play game. When the free-to-play game doesn't give you any premium currency. Uh, but how are they supposed to make money? Whales! They exist! Like, come on, you don't have to be that mean. You can make decent free-to-play <laughs> systems, man. You don't have to go for the wallet all the time. Happy music. Fight me. Why are you riding a Pokemon? Can't you swim? Probably not. Me, a child. Also, this is the ocean, isn't it? Are there even places like this in the real world where you can basically swim from one place to another? In pseudo-open ocean? I don't think so. Can't you swim? I don't know. Have you heard of Riptide? I don't want to experience that. I don't want to die. Now I wonder what happens to a Pokemon that's in a Pokeball for a long time. Is it like stasis? Can a Pokeball go to the bottom of the ocean and be fine? What are the logistics of Pokeball technology? Quit smoke screening my turtle! Quit leering at my turtle! But now, I'm, since we're kind of at decent, a decent length through the game, a part of me is wondering what game should I play next? Because I kind of want to have a bit of a buffer between Pokemon games, so that it's just not Pokemon game, Pokemon game, Pokemon game, just in case, for if whatever reason, I just take off streaming and like, yay, I'm getting 15 viewers. Like, I don't suddenly change to like Jade Empire or something and half of them leave because like, oh, we thought you were the Pokemon guy. I was like, no. <laughs> I just want to play Pokemon games. But I can't risk. Because <laughs> that's the one thing about streaming. You don't want to get pigeonholed. You don't want people to look at you and be like, oh, that's all you do. You kind of need to set yourself up as, oh, I play multiple games. Or else people just assume, oh, you only play one. That's part of the reason, well, one part of the reason why I don't really play multiplayer games. It's too easy to get pigeonholed in there. Though I might play multiplayer games in the future. I don't know. I don't know what to do with my streaming. I don't know what to do with my life. Now that's a cool sprite. Cedra is super cool. I'm gonna slash it. Slash its tires! It survived. Good for you. You may have cut my speed, but I cut you faster. Yeah. It also doesn't help that I have, like, tons of series, video game series I want to go through. Like, the Tales series, the Pokemon series, like, uh, Uncharted, Zelda. Like, there's just, like, so many game series. 
that I want to get through eventually. Oh, Kingdom Hearts. Eventually. Defeated the Swimmer. <laughs> Sometimes the <laughs> sudden suddenness of the random Pokemon battles like catch me off guard. It's like a mini jump scare. Bite that tentacool. Dee 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 doo doo doo. Beep 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 boom ah. And I guess we'll swap out a bit since you're using up a bunch of your... You used up a bunch of your power points because... Friggin' smoke screen! Doo doo. This is just squid country. You've heard of bat country. Are you prepared for squid? There was Batman. Get ready for Squid Man. And his big brother, Giant Squid Man. You think if Atlantis existed, their cryptid would be Squid Man instead of Mothman? Seafoam is quiet. Is a quiet getaway. I guess Seafoam Island. Dome. Once again, just rising from the water in a beautiful dress, unscathed by the waters. No, not the burble. Another series I need to play through is the Yakuza series. I've only ever played Yakuza Zero because. I intro was introduced to it by streamer Proton John. It was just such a wacky series. I really need to get around to playing the later install well, later installments. Yakuza Zero, I think, is the latest, because I think it was one, two, three, four, five, maybe six. Then Yakuza Zero, which is a prequel to all of them. And I think Yakuza 7? Maybe? Or was that Yakuza Like a Dragon? That might have been Yakuza Like a Dragon. Which is technically a side thing, but is also a continuation, but it uses a different protagonist and a, 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 a strange RPG style. <laughs> Yakuza is weird, and that's why it's great. There's a Michael Jackson in there called Miracle Johnson, I think. It's just a wonderful game. It has everything. It has karaoke. You know a game is good when it has karaoke. Let's see. This is like there's like five billion stinking games. I also want to play through the Metal Gear Solid games. I remember Metal Gear Solid 1 was a little annoying at times, but I still beat it, and it was mostly just the final boss that gave me trouble, because... Oh, you're trying to do the proper thing, but at the wrong time, it'll make you think that the proper thing is wrong all the time. <laughs> Quit it! Well, I guess to be fair, I did kind of attack you. Sea Foam Islands. I think this is where Articuno is. Sava the Gamma. Yakuza 1 through 5, 0, Kwami 1 Remake, 6, Kwami 2, and now Like a Dragon. Yep, that makes sense. Ah, we actually have to go through Seafoam to escape these. Ah. Makes sense. Yeah, because I already have Yakuza 0 and Kwami 1 and 2. So, I really should get around to playing them someday. I love floating with the fishes. But after this, you'll be sleeping with the fishes. And you only have one fish to sleep with. That's sad. Or kinky, depends on how you think about it. 
Not the Supersonic. This is not Sega. I also need to play through some Sonic games, too. I have a soft spot for the adventure games. Ooh, maybe someday I'll play uh, Sonic uh, 06 on stream. Maybe that should be a sub goal. When I reach 50 subscribers on Twitch, I'll play Sonic 06 on stream. I'll even go worse and play the PlayStation 3 version. Mainly because it would be kind of a pain to set up my Xbox 360. Why 50? I was like, I don't know. Just because. And the best thing is... If we want... We can fly out of here with teleport. Oh well, yeah, I also want to play through the Far Cry series. And then my brain is just like... Hey, get them on Steam. It's like, but I already have them on PlayStation 4. Yeah, but they're the first-person shooters. But mainly because I got... Uh, they were on sale a long, long time ago. It's just like, I'll play them eventually. And then I upgraded my computer. And now I'm forever torn. Because that's my brain in a nutshell. Oh, and also kind of speaking on microtransactions from Halo Infinite. I'm super sad because it looked so good, but uh, Crash Nitro Fueled? Basically the Crash Bandicoot Nitro Kart remake. It looked so good. It even has Spyro the Dragon in it. And Sp I love Spyro, but I cannot forgive what they did, which was they released it, and then like a month after release, added in microtransactions, making it super grindy to get other things from the store. So even though it's probably not the worst example, it's just the fact that... <laughs> The ESRB finally added an in-game purchases sticker on the boxes, and then these diddly Ds made it so that you can't even rely on those stickers because the first boxes didn't have those. Because a part of me was just like, oh, well, Crash Insane Trilogy and Crash um, 4 came to PC. I'll wait for Crash Nitro Fuel to come. And then they had it, goddamn microtransactions. <laughs> and the sad thing is I would still kind of be tempted to get it even with... Because that's the thing, I'm very easy to tempt. Jesus Christ. A part of me is just like, hmm, maybe I should get uh, some repels. But no, because I kind of need the experience. <laughs> it's long and tedious, but I need the experience. But what other games I need to play through? Technically, I do need to play through the Uncharted series, even though I played Uncharted 1 and Uncharted 2 a long, long time ago. But I don't think I did it on stream, so I'll probably have to play them on stream, even though Uncharted 1 is agony. Ooh, we can push this down a hole. Mm. Push rocks down holes! Crush skulls! There's just, like, so many things that I want to play. A part of me also wants to play through, like, <laughs> Morrowind and Oblivion on stream, but uh, with their s level up systems, no, never. Mainly because I would have to use console commands to even out my stats, because I refuse to play the super Microsoft Excel sheet way of playing. Oblivion. Like, I think Morrowind is okay compared to Oblivion, but Oblivion is just a slog if you don't level up properly. Because the way that uh, Morrowind and Oblivion, Elder Scrolls 3 and 4, work is that each of your skills, uh, like uh, Longblade or Heavy Armor, they have a stat like Strength or Intelligence tied to them. But, if you, uh, and then if you level up those skills, when you finally level up enough to, uh, increase your own character level, you can select, like, strength, endurance, intelligence, uh, to, uh, level those up, for, like, you can choose three out of however many of the skills there are. 
but you get bonuses depending on how many of the sk cor corresponding skills you've leveled up. Which kind of becomes a problem when... If you did it one way, you might have just had a bunch of your... Because uh, the way it works is like each class, because Morrowind and Oblivion had classes, they would have major skills that would dictate how fast they leveled up and if they actually level you up. It's been so long I actually kind of forget certain bits. <laughs> but like... Basically, your major skills... If you level them up, they work towards your character level. But any skill leveled up would add bonus points to your stats at the level up screen. But if you uh, leveled inefficiently, you would run into the thing where even though you're a high level, you are now running into enemies with Daedric armor who are like your same level and they're just whooping your ass because they have better stats. Oh, I forgot. We still have strength going. <laughs> God, it would be agony if you had to reapply strength in between Pokemon battles. Ugh. Fear. And plus, also, playing... Oblivion is a little annoying because if you level, like, if you put off the main story for a while and decide to level up and do side quests, eventually rarer enemies will start to spawn, and it's just like, it feels weird. Oblivion is a weird Elder Scrolls game, and that's already in a weird series. <laughs> I love them. Morrowind is one of my favorite games of all time. Morrowind is one of those weird things where it is an old, like, the, it's an old, what is it, like, Icewind Dale methodology to combat where, uh, it's a dice roll if you hit, even if you, uh, it's, which is weird because it's a 3D game, so even though it's a 3D game, Morrowind, and you actually uh, real-time strike enemies, it's still on that RNG if you hit, depending on the level of your skill. And so, <laughs> it's a little weird to play, to the point that there is a popular mod for Morrowind where it's like true hit, where the RNG is taken away, which heavily unbalances the game because... A lot of the time, some of the combat is kind of dictated around characters missing and stuff. <laughs> I understand. Then again, I don't really think I can, uh, be like looking down upon the plebeians who need a mod to help them hit people in Morrowind when I'm the person that's just like... Console Command, raise my carry weight to infinity, because I don't want to deal with that. Because <laughs> just for whatever reason, I just want to pick up a bunch of things, and then I just really hate. It's like, that's actually what made me kind of slow when I played, was playing the first, uh, Stalker game. Stalker, it's the Russian first-person post-apocalyptic shooter survival game from uh, the mid-2000s, I think. But uh, <laughs> I just had this obsession where it's like, I gotta pick up the guns and take them to the store and sell them for money, when that's not really how the game is meant to be played. The game is more meant to be played where you just go and ignore some pickups. It's just I did, but that's not how I want to play the game. I'm a pack rat in video games where I want to hoard things and sell them. Gajit has wares if you've got coin. Type play style. Hmm. That's 
go down, I guess. I found a nugget in the rock. The one reason why I hate caves, they feel like mazes. I don't quite like mazes. Mazes are hard to go through, which is the point, but silence. Surely I'll eventually go one way or another. And answers will reveal themselves. Yeah, I just want to make sure that was a wall or not. Hmm, interesting. It's a maze. It's a maze. It's amazing. <laughs> But what else? What else? What other games do I want to play on stream? Stream them off. The Jack and Daxter series, which is simple, because I think there's only like three games in that series. I don't even think it has any spin-offs. Maybe the Ratchet... I need... Oh, yeah, the Ratchet and Clank series I also need to get on eventually. Extra sad, I don't have a PlayStation 5, so I can't even play Rift Apart. And it looks so good. It looks so good, Billy. Looks like a good game. Looks fun. But it's on hardware that I I, I can't get. And, uh, and just due to the amount of, like, uh... What is it? Oh. Oh? Oh, I'm losing my mind, Billy. I'm gonna go to the left. Go down this way. Because I'm confusing myself, I think. I'm confusing myself. It doesn't help that I'm getting into fights a lot to try and level up more. So I'm confusing myself even more when I come out and I'm like, okay, but wait, where, where did that go again? Was it left to the supermarket or right? Nobody will ever know. Ooh, do I want to level up? Let's try and level up some War Turtle. War Turtle is strong enough. He's strong enough. Boo -doo -boo. Hey, it's a gold bat. I haven't seen one of you in the wild yet. I don't think. Bubble beam. Yay. Shove bubbles into its giant mouth. It'll choke on him. Choke on the bubbles. Bye bye. Yay! War Turtle leveled up as well. Trying to learn Skull Bash. Since Bite isn't a. Diddly D isn't a dark move yet, because dark doesn't exist, I'm gonna get rid of Bite. I know that Bite can cause flinch, but meh. Meh. Doesn't happen enough for me. <laughs> the enemy, they use fl bite and get all the flinches. Me? No. Because I don't get the secondary effects. The game des decides that I must suffer for my sins. What sins? I don't know. I'm not allowed to know. Boom, 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 boom. And now we can see how good Skull Bash is. And then it'll kill my Pokemon right now and I'll cry. Lowered its head. Oh, it's a two move. Ah, I did not know that. Meh. Oh, and if I play through the Metal Gear Solid series, I'll also be able to play Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance. I've always loved the music from that game. I was going to change my Pokemon, but then I was just like, one more step. For whatever reason. For whatever reason, I'm just like, one more step. Yeah, just, it doesn't really matter. One more step. Come on, let's do it. 
brain is indecisive. It like loads orders of actions. It's like, we really should change Pokemon. But at the same time, I want to see if the rocks can are doing anything yet. <laughs> Of course it does. You're a fool, Golbat. You're a fool. Oh, it might die. Oh, it did die. Luckily, I have revives. Stupid fish. Oh, I, I didn't mean to do that. Meh. So you mean to tell me that when getting a frickin' learning a move, the game is like, no, you have to explicitly tell us that you want to stop learning the move. But when you're running away from a Pokemon after your Pokemon faints, it's like, N okay, fine. <laughs> away we go. This game has weird priorities. Weird, weird, weird priorities. Do, 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 what are the games? What are the games? Well, I do have The Last of Us, but not The Last of Us 2, and I'm not sure if I even want to play The Last of Us 2. <laughs> it's just like... seems like one of the worst written stories I've ever heard of. I also need to play through some Final Fantasy. A part of me kind of wants to do the older Final Fantasy games, but at the same, 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 same time. Not really. Just want to make sure there wasn't, like, a narrow corridor I could go down. Now I need to remember which way to go here. Blah, 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 blah. But I'll definitely start at the very least with Final Fantasy VI, which was Final Fantasy III in America. And then play through, like, Final Fantasy VII, VIII, IX, X, XII, XIII... 13 and maybe it's spin-offs slash continuations. I still need to continue my Final Fantasy 14 trial, I guess. But at the same time, I have a weird relationship with MMOs. I don't really play that in many MMOs. And usually, even if I do play MMOs, I play them like a single-player game. Which, what I played in Final Fantasy XIV, uh, I streamed it even. I'll have to throw the VOD up eventually. But, I had a fun time with it. But it's just like, it's an MMO, so just kind of a... fear to playing it for me. Like, it feels like, uh... I could be playing it wrong. I'll definitely have to think about it, though. But what are the games? What are the games? Bayonetta 1 and 2. I really need to play Bayonetta 1 and 2. I've been meaning to play Bayonetta 1 and 2 for so long, I got them on the Wii U. And then, when it came to the Switch, I was like, fine, I'll get it on Switch 2. A part of me also wants to kind of play Breath of the Wild on stream, but I'm not sure how we're, how that works brain overcomplicates things, you know. Hmm, we need to get over there. So we have to go deeper down, I guess. Oh boy, more rock puzzles. Just deeper and deeper down. Deeper and deeper and darker and darker. Oh, I also need to play Deltarune chapters 1 and 2. 
Funnily, the reason I played Undertale was because Deltarune Chapter 2 came out recently, back in the day. Which was like a month ago-ish. Or something like that. Brain. So it was just like, ah, I should get around, I'll play Undertale first. I don't know, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Oh, it's a one-way way. Oh, I did not know that. I did not know that that was one way. Would have been nice if I was informed that there was a current. Danger, fast current. Well, now I know that. Kind of a jerk thing to do. Not inform me. But uh, there's just like, so many games I need to get around to eventually. And it's just hard to lay them all out. So many ways to go in here. I need to adopt my self co teleportation methodology. Oh, we're just back here. I'm very confused, Billy. get all the rocks down the hole. Poor Pikachu does not have much health. Alright, I think... I think I know how to do this. First off, knock you down, smack you, smack you, I need to be very careful. Do not want to accidentally smack it incorrectly. Booyah, no idea what that does though. <laughs> is where repels are wanted. Oh, I also need to play through Xenoblade Chronicles, man. So many games and a lot of them RPGs that take a decent amount of time. to do the Sly collection, like Sly Cooper. Because I remember playing Sly Cooper 1, and, like, weird things happened. I don't know, it just felt weird to play. Now we need to find a way to a new area. I'm sorry, but if you have a... This really does feel like Silphco, except random battles happen. Which is a little annoying. In-depth puzzles and random enemy encounters is... a bit obnoxious. But at the same time, I'm getting decent experience for this. 
even though I'm probably going to be in this cave for five billion years. Maybe I should start running. Maybe unless they're like level 30s and above, I should start ignoring them. I do not know. I also need to play Digimon Cyber Sleuth. The, like, little complete collection. So it's like Hacker's Memory and Cyber Sleuth. Because I heard good things. And I'm still excited for whenever Pokemon Sur- or Pokemon? Yeah. Digimon Survive. I'm sorry, I'm playing Pokemon while I'm talking about Digimon. Forgive me. But Digimon Survive. I can't wait for that to come out. It has been five billion years. They had to delay it, which, fair. But... I just hope that it'll eventually get out and uh, doesn't get cancelled. Because I would like to play it, because apparently even the humans can die. And I want to cry. Which reminds me, I also really should get around to playing some uh, Fire Emblem. Because basically, I have a lot of exceedingly r long RPG series that I want to play on stream. And the problem is I kind of get into these grooves where I want to play this one, and then that one, and then this one. So it's just like, I just run into these grooves where I was like, I want to play this entire series. Even though it's long. Yeah, because we came up from there. I'm just losing my mind in this place. So maybe we'll have to brave the warning strong s current. Go up again. I don't know. Is the current will just. I thought we. Hello, seal. You seem rare, so I'm going to kill you. There's not much to say in here because I'm mainly just like wandering around, just like. Okay, which way where for the for the haberdashery? First blah 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 Because maybe this will lead me to pushing the other rock? Ooh, hey. Yay, it led me to the right place. And it turned out that I was in the right place, the wrong place, and the right place at the same time. And there was much rejoicing. <laughs> Not haze! Oh, I also need to play for the Devil May Cry series. Like I said, I have five billion game series I need to get through. Far too many. All at the same time. And now, Charmeleon, you strength. Which means I should be able to use Surf there now. Strong current? Not anymore. I broke that strong current. I am the current. I'm soon to be the current Pokemon champion of the Kanto region. I also need to play through a bunch of, like, the 3D Mario games, like Sunshine and Galaxy. And then a bunch of classics that not many people really talk about, like, uh, Metal Arms. 
I like some Metal Arms. Too bad it didn't get its sequel. And, like, the rights to Metal Arms is probably lost within the in Infinity. Like, I would be glad if there was just, like, a Metal Arms PC port that had, like, online capability. That would be fun. Metal Arms was a fun time. Its multiplayer was good. It was just a nice game. Let's think. Let us a dolly dolly dee 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 dolly da 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 dolly da da. I also need to play for like the Legend of Spyro games. I remember liking Legend of Spyro one decently enough. Even if his model is a bit weird. Not as weird as Skylanders, though. Even if the animated Skylanders somehow made it look okay. Which, congratulations for that. You made that abomination look okay. Let's see if that got rid of the... current. Ha ha ha! Hee hee hee! Ho ho ho! I'm Santa! Here to murder. I think he's gonna be resistant to this, so goddammit. I keep forgetting. It's just like, it's a water type. This will work, and then it doesn't. But it kind of does, and it's very weird. Pokemon doesn't make much sense sometimes. Bye-bye! Part of me also wants to get, like, Pokin uh, Tournament. I remember liking Pokin on the Wii U. But then, but then comes the thing of, oh yeah, now I have to pay for the online, though. Even though the online's pretty cheap, eh, I'm still brain. In the end, I just have way too many games, and I want to play all of them at the exact same time. Or sometimes it's just like, I kind of want to play that one. But what about that one? Blah. Brain. Bibbidi-zing. And then on top of that, I also want to start watching, like, uh, some movies and TV shows, series... So it's just like, my time is being eaten up by me. Did I go the wrong way? Because, uh... Articuno's in there, right? At the very least, I don't... And it feels like a maze in there. Blah. So if I leave... Yeah. See foam islands. So it, that makes me feel like I missed Articuno. So now I feel bleh. And I want to go in and grab it. Feels like I went the wrong way. But I don't know which way is which. And my brain is coming out my ears. It's coming out as tears. moment when your vague memories come to smack you and make you cry. In the end, I just have way too many RPGs and open world games that I want to play that are on my list. It comes to haunt me day in and day out. Never ending, never ending. At least the puzzle itself is done, but then there were those other ones, those two rocks to the left that I had to do a mini puzzle to do.
I think it was the part where I start hitting the run button. Oh, maybe it's because I need to go down here into that. Ah. Also, kind of... There needs to be, like, a mandatory... No, no encounters after her, an encounter step thing. Oh, no, I can't go. Oh, let's screw it. Losing my mind. Stepping in time. Boulders might change the flow of water. But I already figured that out. Bill. go this way. There you are! Yeah, I knew it! I even did it that one by accident-ish. Alright, I saved just in case I one-hit KO you. Like I said, I'm not going to actually use Articuno for combat. But it's just like, I want to have it. It's like, the thing. does mean that I'm going to have to get it pretty low to cooperate. Hey, what do you think about this, Pikachu? Pikachu enjoys the slaughter to a mince degree. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and Hyper Potion you. We'll go ahead and save again. Capture Articuno, leave, and uh, probably stop there. What Articuno said. Gyao. The beautiful bird is level 50. Oh god. Quick. Yeah, I deserve that. I shall use Charmeleon. For some reason, I didn't expect it to be level 50. Of course you get a critical hit. Quit getting critical hits. Ember. Okay, critical hit. Yay! <laughs> Fine, I'll use Goblin on you. Psychic. Maybe I should have done this from the start for heavy hitting. I hate critical hits in this game. <laughs> They are way too normal. And they way, do way too much damage. Also, is anything resistant to Ice Beam in this game? You'd think that fire would be resistant to ice. Apparently not. And he's frozen. But now let's see if my Great Balls can capture you. Oh, you missed the Pokemon. Screw you, game. Come on, my flying type will be weak to ice, too. Great Ball. Come on, it's weak. Stop. Go, Great Ball. How am I missing? It's at its lowest. So screw you. Or does it want... Oh, we well have to use status effects, too. It's just like, I really shouldn't. This is why I saved. Go Great Ball. 
Yay! A legendary bird Pokemon. It freezes water that is contained in winter air and makes it snow. I shall not give you a nickname. But I shall use a revive on a few of my Pokemon. Like, uh... At least Venusaur and Charmeleon. Because I don't want to teleport back to Diddly D and go through the cave again. Instead, I will go to the place and hope that I get Fly. <laughs> but hey, I got Articuno decently early. And now I just need to get out of here, which shouldn't be terrible. Be gone, Satan. I no longer need you. I'm gonna try and save my power points for... I just need to remember how to get out, which actually is super easy. I just need to use the other place for surfing. Yeah. If you white out... Like, I wonder what whiting out even means. If all your Pokemon faint, how do you escape? The answer is you probably don't. You died there. And Pokemon is all a dream. Do -do -do -do. Wah, I'm another tentacool. I want to drag you down to hell because I hate you. Blah. Now reminded of that bit in the Pokemon manga where it's just like... <laughs> Red or Ash or whatever his name is in the manga is reading a paper and there's an article. That's the last time I take a bath of my Tintacruel. Jesus Christ, please implement a minimum safe distance after encounter thing, especially if you run. It's level 36, so I'll fight it, I guess, but still, bleh. Oh, and I miss too, because this game's an asshole. Fuck off. Just minor bits of annoyance. Plus. Luckily, the confusion didn't do anything. Huzzah. Oh yeah, and those two are knocked out, so I should probably use revives on them so they can get experience as we fight Pokemon trainers to the town. Sure. I mean, they're just revives. They're not great, great, but meh, meh. Whatever, whatever. In my opinion, you should also get experience for capturing legendary Pokemon. But that's just me. My biased opinion. And now we escaped! I think we made decent progress. I got the experience all- well, <laughs> if you think about it, we really didn't go that far. We went from Fachusia, however you say that, it's still wonky, hurts my brain. We beat Koga, we finished off the bike road of trainers, and went down to Seafoam Island and caught Articuno. That's all we did. But it feels like a lot, and that's what matters. <laughs> but yeah, still having a lot of fun with this game, even if there are still annoying things, and once again, this being the first generation of Pokemon feels super weird due to the fact that there is just, like, no information in-game about anything. It would be nice to know what Toxic did and be like, why is the badly poison doing so much damage? And then I change out and it's like, oh, now the badly damaged poison isn't doing anything? <laughs> It's just like that chaos in my mind that brings pain. And, uh, but yeah, I think we'll stop off here because we've been going for a decent amount of time and we did a decent amount of things and we caught Articuno, which was great. Even if the cave kind of drove me mad. But yeah, overall, 
had a lot. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> well, he's like, I hope I go there and I can use fly, and then I have to remember. Fly is probably dictated by, uh, well, maybe. Teleport isn't dictated, so maybe fly isn't dictated by a badge. Hmm. Something to think about, something to worry about, something to hunt my dreams. But at least you can go from Cinnabar to Pallet Town, I think, so... It's not horrible, if I have to. <laughs> but overall, having lots of fun, the game's fun, if a bit wonky and quirky, it's still a nice experience. And it probably feels much better to play, since I haven't played a normal Pokemon game in literal years, so I'm probably desensitized to what a Pokemon game should feel like by now. <laughs> but, anyways... I have been Neon Icy Wings. This has been more Pokemon Critical Hit Edition, yellow version. And uh, I'm having lots of fun. I hope to see you guys next time. If you want more from me, you can catch me on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Tumblr, and various other Newgrounds, various other social medias. There's only so many, but at the same time, there's too many. You have no idea how many exist. It's just insane, but yes. Thank you much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.